Good afternoon, Nighthawk Nation, and welcome to sophomore day for your Nighthawk women's soccer team here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Today we pay tribute to eight outstanding sophomores who have not only helped write soccer history in Hot Springs, but have also left a lasting impact in their time with Nighthawk Athletics. We couldn't be more proud of each of these women, not only for what they achieved athletically, but academically as well. And we wish them the best of luck for the bright future that lies ahead. Introducing your 2023 Nighthawk sophomores. Introducing sophomore Natalie Alfaro. Hailing from Nashville, Arkansas, Natalie did not have to go far to find her next soccer home. Over the past two years, she's evolved into a motivational leader by example and is proud to have helped build the foundation of women's soccer here at National Park College. She's escorted today by her mother, Vicki. Congratulations to sophomore Natalie Alfaro. Introducing sophomore Kaylee Goad. For this dual sport, super sophomore returning to National Park College for a second season was a no-brainer. Behind the bonds that she's formed with her teammates, Kaylee believes in the capabilities of this program and is excited for the opportunity to lead the team to new heights. She's escorted today by her professor, April Garner, and her roommate, Mackenzie. Congratulations to sophomore Kaylee Goad. Introducing sophomore Tanea Miller. This scrappy sophomore from Oklahoma not only serves as a vocal leader for the Nighthawks, but she carries a big heart for her teammates as well. Committed to growing the next generation of Nighthawk women's soccer, Tanea will be a name long remembered at National Park College. She's escorted today by her boyfriend, Jalen. Congratulations to sophomore Tanea Miller. Introducing sophomore Abigail Curphy. When an injury took her away from the game she loved, Abby found a new way to lead the team this season. Motivated to help her team succeed no matter what, she's given everything she has to help her team grow towards its goals this season. She's escorted today by her boyfriend, Robert. Congratulations to sophomore Abigail Curphy. Introducing sophomore Chloe Sosa. Over the past two seasons, Chloe has grown into a confident leader for her teammates and is ready to go to battle today to win National Park College's first Region 2 championship in program history. Chloe is escorted today by her mother, Renee, and her father, Chris. Congratulations to sophomore Chloe Sosa.
Introducing sophomore Jada Hammett. When number 10 walked in the doors of NPC two years ago, her mission was to help this program write the women's soccer history books in Hot Springs. Mission accomplished. Her future plans are to continue playing women's soccer at the next level. Jada is escorted today by her mother, Sarah. Congratulations to sophomore Jada Hammett. Introducing sophomore Lalita Fry. Number 20 loves representing the community she calls home and believes in a bright future, not only for National Park College, but for her soccer sisters as well. After her playing days are over, Lalita plans to become a nurse and give back to her community. She's escorted today by her mother and her father. Congratulations to sophomore Lalita Fry. Introducing sophomore Andrea Reyna. In many ways, Andrea represents the heart of the National Park Nighthawks. On and off the field, this super sophomore inspires confidence and energy in her team through her impressive work ethic and it will stop at nothing to help her team achieve soccer history and get national recognition for the women's soccer program. She's escorted today by her room or by her teammate Tegan Thrasher and her friend Christian Villatoro. Congratulations to sophomore Andrea Reyna. Let's hear it one more time for your 2023 National Park College Nighthawk Women's Sophomores. we like to thank you for joining us for the sophomore day ceremony here prior to the beginning of today's women's soccer match with the University of Arkansas Cossetot. We will take a brief intermission. We're about 10 minutes away from the start of today's match between the Nighthawks and the Lady Colts with a lot of history on the line in this one. We'll go to a still image. Don't go anywhere. Women's soccer action coming your way next here on the Nighthawk Network.
Sosa heavily pursued. Turns to Vargas. Vargas fires. It's good. Hammett fires one in off the hand. It poked in for the goal. The Nighthawks get it done. Jesse Vargas, right place, right time. And the Nighthawks strike first. Here comes Chloe Sosa with an opportunity, and she'll scoot it in for the goal. Sosa strikes for Nighthawk Black. It is three to one. It's a beautiful day for soccer deep in the heart of Arkansas live from Hot Springs World Class High School in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. This is National Park College Nighthawk Women's Soccer on your home for the Nighthawks, the Nighthawk Network. Good afternoon and thank you for tuning into this edition of Nighthawk Athletics here on the Nighthawk Network. Today's games are brought to you by the following sponsors by Washita Children, Youth and Family Services, by RAD, Rise Above Alcohol and Drugs, and by CHI St. Vincent, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics this season. If you would like to sponsor athletic, Nighthawk Athletics this year, you can do so by visiting us online at np.edu slash athletics. I'm Mark Oliver, just underway here in a crucial NJCA Region 2 championship game as National Park College will take on the University of Arkansas Cossetot and PC with its opportunity to win the program's first Region 2 title in program history. And we're so glad to have you along with us on the broadcast today. And it does not matter which team that you're rooting for. We'd be happy to give you a shout out on the broadcast. If you're a Lady Colts fan or a Nighthawk fan, we'd love to give you a shout out today. Let us know where you're watching from and who you're excited to see. Sophomore day for National Park College. A few minutes ago, we had the opportunity to honor those eight sensational sophomores for their time coming into National Park College, really helping lay the groundwork, the foundation for what this program has become, laying some history for NPC. Of course, you know, some hometown heroes coming from the high school ranks to bolster the junior college soccer program just getting off the ground it's in its third season here this year and npc chasing a little bit of history like we said and has multiple different roadmaps in today's match where npc could be the region two championship out of njcaa division two a lot to be excited for in this one here's emily garrell for the nighthawks as she makes her way in and it is scooped up by the keeper for the Lady Colts for the first save of today's ball game. So UAC and NPC went to battle back on September 23rd, where National Park College came away with its first victory of the season in a 5-0 win over the Lady Colts, putting NPC in that driver's seat for the Region 2 title. The Lady Colts have had a, a few weeks to kind of stew on that loss and coming back looking for its first win of the season, also its first win in program history. And they would love to exact some revenge on these Nighthawk women today. And we'll talk about tiebreaker scenarios in all the different roadmaps that could lead NPC to the title in today's match. But what we know for sure is that a victory for the Nighthawks or, or a draw for the Nighthawks will guarantee them a spot heading to the district tournament, the district championship, mind you, coming up November 4th in Missouri. NPC also has a couple of options with a loss today 
and still having the opportunity to claim the title. Corner kick NPC off the head of Jada Hammett, headed by Kaylee Goad, but it went the wrong way, and a big break for the Lady Colts defense as the Nighthawks tried to strike first here in this one. Three minutes off the board here in the first half from Hot Springs. Nighthawk balls, that one's kicked over to the corner. No move for Natalie Alfaro in NPC to do anything with it. And we'll reset with Lady Colts possession here in the first half. Great crowd on hand here at Hot Springs World Class High School. And to be honest, it's been a beautiful weekend weather-wise here in the Spa City, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Perfect weather for a soccer match scheduled to be in the 70s throughout the evening, even going into men's action later on in the doubleheader today where National Park College also has the opportunity to lock up a Region 2 championship in today's match. Not very often that you see see two different avenues to history being played in the same evening but here we are and we're excited to have you along with us for the ride natalie bryce goes toe to toe with the lady colt that one goes out of bounds Cossetant will take over throw in by the lady colt fielded going down the line by kayleen figueroa Figueroa has it knocked away by Andrea Reyna, one of those big sophomores for this Nighthawk squad. Loose ball being retrieved by the Lady Colts, Alyssa Rojas. And into Nighthawk territory we go. Rojas with the throw in. Two Nighthawks are there looking to steal it away. Natalie Alfaro finds Jada Hammett. And here we go in the Lady Colts territory. Beautiful pass finds Emily Garrell making her way down the sideline. Here comes the offensive push at the line. Denied out of bounds. Great defense there by the Lady Colts to present the, prevent the shot on goal. Excuse me. And this game remains scoreless here in the first half. It'll be a corner kick for Natalie Bryce and the Nighthawks. Kick from Bryce on its way right into the hands of the awaiting keeper for UAC. And the threat is quelled, at least for now. Jackie Gonzalez, the keeper for the University of Arkansas, Cossetot, coming into today's game with 34 saves on the season and an impressive 872 save percentage. NPC will have possession. The throw in finds Andrea Reyna who defensively pushes it toward the midfield stripe. On the way are the Lady Colts inside Nighthawk territory, looking to turn it around as Figueroa intercepted by Tanea Miller. A kettle of Nighthawks recover the ball. And now feeding it down toward the lower channel, Jada Hammett looking for help, looking for Yanisel Martinez. She'll turn, bring it up the middle. National Park moving the ball well here. Here comes Alfaro, the sophomore. Alfaro threading the needle, picked up by Emily Gurrell, has it taken away. Nighthawks not done yet. Natalie Bryce fires a laser. It's left of the goal. But NPC coming out aggressive, just as is the game plan. Going back to that match on September 23rd, played down in Ashdown, Arkansas. The Nighthawks were able to win the battle of shots, had multiple opportunities, multiple shots on goal. Picking up a much needed 5-0 decision over the Lady Colts. But this was a team, I remember talking to Jada Hammett right after that match. She was our featured Nighthawk player of the game immediately following that match. And she talked about, we could have won that game by so many more. It taught us a lot about what we're capable of and showed us where we need to grow in order to get better. 
and get better this team has. It's been a tough schedule this year for the National Park Nighthawk women. They've played against some immense competition out there, multiple nationally ranked opponents, including twice against top five Northwest Mississippi Community College. Battle tested, oh yes. And out to retrieve the loose ball will be the keeper, Jackie Gonzalez, for the Lady Colts. If you haven't seen a night hot game here before at Hot Springs World Class High School, you can see the giant track and field facility that surrounds the turf. And I mention that because if a loose ball gets away, it's quite a hike to go retrieve it from the outer edge of the facility and bring it back into the field to play. We've timed it a few times this season. It can easily eat about 30 seconds off the clock and that can be critical late in close matches. Nighthawks with the ball, pushing inside Lady Colt territory. It's Jada Hammett. Hammett has it stripped away. Andrea Rain is there to try to return it. Back to the field of play, it's Tanea Miller who fields it up high for the Nighthawks. To the top of the lane is Kaylee Goad. Back to Miller. On the inside, couldn't find Chloe Sosa. Miller will scoot it out of play. And the Lady Colts will take over. We've played just about 10 minutes in this one. Throw in by Cossetot. And scooted back into Nighthawk territory here for Jada Hammett. Hammett has her hands full with Figueroa for the Lady Colts. Hammett with the pass downstream finds Natalie Bryce. Bryce scoots past a defender, stays on her feet all the way to the load channel and fires it directly into an awaiting Lady Colt. There's a sliding stop attempt from Kaylee Goad. Can't pick it up. Nighthawks still stay with the loose ball. Andrea Reyna scoots past two defenders, tries to feed Emily Gurel. Reyna turns, fires towards the middle. Hammett, body block, can't get it. And the Lady Colts will clear it away. Moved back toward the middle of the field. Yonisel Martinez with the rejection. Now down the field into Nighthawk territory, giving chase a Moy Gale for NPC. She can't get there in time. It will be Nighthawk Rock coming the other way. Nighthawks with the throw in. Tanea Miller to a Moy Gale. Crowd still filing in here at Hot Springs World Class High School. They heard that there's history to be made in these matches tonight, both women and men. It's going to be a party here at home. Natalie Alfaro. Given space by the Lady Colt defense, looking for Jada Hammett, finds her down low. Hammett cruises in toward the middle. Puts a shot in, blocked by a Lady Colt. Sosa to Bryce, now feeding Kaylee Goad in the top lane. And the Lady Colts backed up to their back line, defensively perhaps, but certainly not breaking early in this one. That one's fed into Nighthawk territory. Dee Dee Hale comes in and clears it away. The Nighthawk keeper. Feeling right at home, of course, playing on her high school home field here at Hot Springs World Class High School. No place like home. Lady Colts will bring it in. Sosa has the ball stripped away. Now that one fired down into Nighthawk territory where Dee Dee Hale will come out and scoop it up in the goalie box. And we'll send it back to National Park College. Had an opportunity to meet with many of the sophomore parents that were able to make the trip to Hot Springs today. 
chatted with Chloe Sosa's family. Great getting to meet them, making the trip up from Texas. We've had the opportunity to run into to many friends, family, and parents from these Nighthawks, women and men, all season long. It's been real special to have these student athletes walk into our doors over the past two years. Program certainly headed in the right direction under head coach Diego Figueroa. And assistant coach Pedro Balliger. Throw in from Martinez finds Natalie Bryce. Looking for Alfaro, couldn't quite make the connection. NPC with an opportunity for a reset. There's a laser fired right down the middle. Andrea Reyna couldn't get past the Lady Colts defensively. And it's back out of bounds. So National Park College will have it in the corner. And they've had multiple opportunities inside Lady Colt territory, looking to line up the scoreboard for the first time in this one today. Here's the kick from Hammett. On its way off the header of Sosa, still in play. Nighthawks, Bryce can't get it to go. Sales just outside the lines. And despite the missed opportunities in this one, Nighthawks have been aggressive in the start. We've seen some great movement out of the Lady Colts as well getting into Nighthawk territory, and it has all the makings of a really fun one so far in this crucial NJCAA Region 2 contest. I want to say hello to Alex on the broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in today, saying it's time to win, Nighthawks. Doesn't matter which team you're rooting for today, we welcome our friends from University of Arkansas, Cossetot. Let us know where you're watching from and who you're here to see. We'd love to give you a shout out on the broadcast today. We played just a little over 15 minutes here in the first half of action. No score between the Nighthawks and Lady Colts. Kaylee Goad with the throw in for NPC. Looking for Emily Gurrell. Garrell picks up the loose ball, fires that one in downstream, can't get it. Hammett gives chase, and that's a, an errant pass from the Lady Colts that sails out of bounds. National Park's going to have it right back with good field position here. Last touch by Cynthia Buenstrato. Inbounds we go. Here's Natalie Bryce. One-on-one -on -one as Chloe Sosa goes to battle with a defender. That one scoots away. National Park's going to pick it right back up. Hammett, fancy footwork. Hammett turns, fires, and scores! Jada Hammett puts the Nighthawks on the board. 1-0 NPC. High fives and handshakes coming for the National Park Nighthawks. A big goal for Hammett here on a sophomore day. And some cheers from the Nighthawk bench. They've got signs made. They're having a great time here on sophomore day today. Jada's second goal of the season. Couldn't have come at a better time. So Lady Colts trailing in this one now, 1-0. And we'll see how they respond here. Roughly about 17 minutes into this match. Nighthawks with the ball once again, moving well. Alfaro and Bryce manning the middle for the ladies in black. Alfaro given space, looking for Emily Gurrell. Down low, threading the needle, taking away. Hammett is there. Hammett, who just scored moments ago, trying to feed it to Gurrell, trying to get Nighthawks back on the board here. A reset back toward the middle of the field. That one's intercepted. Alfaro is going to scoot it right back. NPC hangs on. Martinez to Bryce. Back to Yanni Martinez. 
at the low line, she keeps it in play. Alfaro's pass is intercepted. Lady Colts boom it the other way. Reyna keeping it in UAC territory. Nighthawk threat still not over in this one. Lady Colts backing up on defense here, awaiting a shot opportunity. Alfaro's kick goes wide right at the goal. Shout outs to Nighthawk photographer Aaron Brewer. I'm sure he caught every single frame of that Jada Hammett goal. Cannot wait to see those pictures tomorrow on the Nighthawk Athletics social media channels. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, and X. So the Lady Colts retrieve the loose ball. The keeper, Jackie Gonzalez. Back to the field of play here. Gonzalez all alone for the Lady Colts. And set to kick it away with a booming kick. On its way. Boots, boots it out for about 25 yards. Picked up by Chloe Sosa coming the other way. Return to sender. Picked up by Gonzalez. On the shot attempt by Sosa. And UAC will kick it down straight down the middle of the field. Off of a header by Natalie Bryce. Emily Gurel has the middle for NPC. Lady Colts coming in on the attack, and now an opportunity. They're into Nighthawk territory for the first time in a while, and it's taken away immediately by Amoy Gale. Nighthawks looking to turn this ball around. Andrea Reyna turns on the Jets. Reyna finding her sophomore teammate, Natalie Alfaro. Alfaro down the line, looking for Garrell, gets past a couple of Lady Colts, and Gonzalez is out to scoop up the loose ball to stop the threat here. Here's the kick, it's up, up, and away. Off the header by Bryce into Nighthawk territory. Amoy Gale, right place, right time to keep it from going too deep. Cynthia Lopez moving it north and south. And that ball's gonna sail out of play. Slight breeze blowing here at Hot Springs World Class High School. But the weather perfect in the middle of the 70s for today's match. National Park enjoying a 1-0 lead. Looking to add to it here on a big day for women's soccer at National Park College. Sosa goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lady Colts defender, Fernanda Lopez. That ball. Streamed down the top lane. Kaylee Goad is there. Goad toe-to-toe -to -toe with Angela Brown. That ball is out of play. It'll head the other way. University of Arkansas, Cossetot will take it right back. We played 22 minutes here in the first half. And while we have a moment, we'd like to introduce our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk player for today's game, Tegan Thrasher. We'll talk to her during the halftime break today, learn her Nighthawk story, and talk about what it's been like to be a member of this team this season, the camaraderie, the chemistry, the family created over in Dogwood Hall at National Park College. It's been a fun year full of a lot of growth, learning opportunities, and history made along the way. We'll talk to Tegan Thrasher at halftime of today's broadcast. Here in action, 
Lady Colts trying to break through into Nighthawk territory. Here's an opportunity. The deepest they've been in quite some time, firing a shot up and over the crossbar. Out of play. Deity Hale has the ball set up for NPC. We've got a whistle down on the field. And we're back in action here. Amoy Gale clears it down the field, looking for Natalie Alfaro. Now it's a foot race, a lot of room to run for National Park College. Alfaro bounces it off of a defender. Body block keeps it in play in Lady Colt territory. A header by Reyna. One-on-one, -on -one, Reyna gets the job done, pokes that one through, and now here comes Gonzalez out of the net to come in and scoop up the loose ball. Special thanks to National Park Athletic Director Rich Thompson. There's so many things that go on behind the scenes. You guys don't even know the beginning of it. Had some scoreboard issues here at the stadium today, and Rich has been working feverishly to try to get everything back up and running. And whether it's running and grabbing ice or a Band-Aid or fixing a scoreboard at a, at a different facility. Takes a village here at National Park College. And we're thankful for, for all of our Nighthawk staff. So substitution coming in for National Park College. It is your Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured player of the game, Tegan Thrasher. Freshman from Alma, Arkansas joins the fray. Cynthia Lopez fields the inbound, fires that one looking for Natalie Alfaro. Natalie Bryce fires one just a little left of the goal. And of course, we've seen great things out of Bryce this season. Natalie Bryce able to really take command of the field from, from far distances out there. When defenses do their homework on 21, they know that she's capable of hitting it into the net from just about anywhere. A very welcome addition to this Nighthawk team this season, making a huge impact this year. Jackie Gonzalez to kick it away, and she does. But it'll sail out of bounds. And NPC will take right back over. Time of possession, National Parks had it in this one. They've stayed primarily in UAC territory. Taking a 1-0 advantage on a goal from Jada Hammett. Here's the throw in from the Nighthawks. Some more new faces being filtered in. Ali Zarati out there for National Park College. With a break in the action here, want to say hello to Tabitha Goad watching on the broadcast, cheering on NPC, and a sophomore, Kaylee Goad. Thank you for tuning in today, Tabitha. Glad to have you with us. Wish you were here. That kick fed in. The Nighthawks unable to grab it right in front of the goal, but quickly turn on the Jets and bring it back. Andrea Reyna with a collision with Cynthia Buenrostro of UAC. That ball is out of bounds. Cynthia Tippett's on the broadcast cheering on Chloe Sosa and the National Park Nighthawks. Thank you for tuning in today, Cynthia. Glad to have you. After a brief delay, the ball has been returned to the Lady Colts, ready for the throw in. Buen Rostro will throw it in to the field of play. Fired in, and two Nighthawks immediately go for it. There's 
Alondra Limon for NPC, who just barely taps it out of play. And it appears it'll be last touched by UAC. That's a big break for the Nighthawks offensively. Throw in finds Natalie Bryce and Jada Hammett. NPC looking for a lane. Bryce just turns and fires toward the goal. And an easy pickup for Jackie Gonzalez. Tegan Thrasher was there just in case of any defensive miscues. And a line drive kick heads toward the middle of the field. One on one. The Nighthawks win the push off there. Cynthia Lopez, but it's taken right away in the NPC territory. The Nighthawks give chase. Coming in from behind is Ali Zarati to look to poke that thing back and going the other way. Amoy Gale, tight defense up on that top channel. And now taken away by Zarati. Deflected off of Lady Colt. Looking for Tegan Thrasher in the top lane. Can't connect, it's out of play. 16 minutes remain here in the first half. National Park leading 1-0. Lady Colts throw it in. NPC playing keep away here. Now has an opportunity. Jada Hammett letting the ball come to her. Fed that one in low. Alondra Limon turns on the Jets for the Nighthawks. This could be an opportunity. Limon turns, fires, kicks off of a Lady Colt defender, and that one is pushed away out of play. Substitutions coming in for the home team. National Park College, Tara Eichard joins the battle as well as Yesenia Juarez. Natalie Bryce and Tanea Miller take a rest. Nighthawks are gonna have it at the corner. That's gonna be Jada Hammett with an opportunity. Try to give the Nighthawks a 2-0 advantage. Waste no time getting that kick into the field of play. Finds Andrea Reyna up high. Back to Hammett. Hammett working inside the middle to Eichard. Can't quite connect. Lady Colts come up with the loose ball. And it's fired right back to the awaiting Nighthawks on the back line. Reyna turns, fires, and snagged in front of the goal by Gonzalez. A big save for the Lady Colts. And that helps keep this game manageable with a 1-0 Fired back toward the middle of the field. Nighthawks turn it around. Back and forth we go. Deflected off the face of a Nighthawk. She stands tall and stays with it on offense. Here's the push. Hammett looking for help inside, can't connect. And now NPC gives chase at Cynthia Lopez. Lopez to the back line, Amoy Gale. Gale one-on-one -on -one has her hands full. Lopez clears it downfield in a big way. Nighthawks give Chase Thrasher. Can't quite connect. Gonzalez able to snag the ball and stop the Nighthawk threat on that possession. Great header by NPC. Straight down the middle of the field. No one's there. Cynthia Lopez trying to bring it back the other way. Lopez heavily pursued, fires down low to Reyna. Andrea Reyna down the line, has space. Reyna coming all the way down, turns and fires and almost a souvenir for Aaron Brewer today. I'm sure that photo will look really good though. And that ball goes way off into the wilderness. That one almost all the way to Panama Street here behind Hot Springs World Class High School. And Gonzalez will opt for one of the other soccer balls that are back in the ravine at the edge of the complex.
Back to the field of play we go. 12-10 remaining in the first half. Nighthawks have stayed inside Cossetot territory for the majority of the first half. Here's the kick. Gets past Alondra Limon, unable to keep it close. But the Nighthawks are right on top of it to bring it back. Here's Limon down low. It's a foot race, and she can't get to it in time. It sails out of play. And another long hike for Jackie Gonzalez and the UAC Lady Colts. Eleven twenty and counting here in the first half. Once a Nighthawk, always a Nighthawk. Yesenia Vargas has come in off the Nighthawk bench, and she's out there to go help find that that soccer ball that went way out into the woods. That's the kind of leader that National Park has, and its biggest women's soccer ambassador. Certainly in program history, your all-time leading scorer for Nighthawk women's soccer. Completed her sophomore season last year for NPC, but knew that she had to come back and be of assistance to this team some way anyway. She has been remarkable as a manager for this team this year. Into the front side of the field, Nighthawk territory, nothing going there. As it skates out of bounds, the Lady Colts will have another attempt here. Alyssa Rojas hands the ball off to Madison Hernandez, who attempts to throw in. Hernandez overthrows her intended target. Alex Siegel picks it up for NPC. Siegel trying to get it out of Nighthawk territory here as it moves up towards the top of the field. And there is a connection by Zarati. Back toward the midfield stripe. Kicked the other way by the Lady Colts. UAC trying desperately to get the equalizer on the board here with less than 10 minutes to go in the first half of action. Tegan Thrasher is in the right place at the right time. She fires one downfield looking for Limon. Alondra Limon. One on one. Here it comes. Off the keeper. Over the head. Limon scores the second goal of the match for NPC. Never gave up on it. Blocked by the keeper. Had a second attempt and blooped it over her head into the net. 2 0 NPC. First goal of the season for the freshman, Alondra Limon. And that gives NPC a great advantage in this one with nine minutes to play in the first half. It is two to zero. Lady Colts feeling a bit of pressure now. As they try to dissect this Nighthawk defense, there is a collision down on the field. And this may result in a stoppage of play at will. A Lady Colts player is down. We'll take a brief moment for an injury timeout. 2-0 NPC, 8.32 to play in the first. We're back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. You smile, smile. When you smile. Back out of the injury timeout. We're here in Hot Springs World Class High School. Eight minutes to go 
in a high-flying first half for your National Park Nighthawk women, 2-0 on goals from Jada Hammett and Alondra Limon. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Lady Colts have possession as we resume play here late in the first half, firing that one out to Andrea Reyna, who's able to block it off of a Lady Colt out of play. National Park will have it right back as Cynthia Lopez heads just off screen to go recover the loose ball. Back into the field to play Tara Eichard for NPC. Eichard slowly works her way up towards the middle of the field to Lalita Fry. And Yesenia Juarez fires it back into Lady Colt territory. Loose ball picked up by Cossetot. Back and forth we go. Great header by Warhez gets about 15 yards off of it. And now it's a foot race as Tegan Thrasher gives chase that one a misconnection as number four, Angela Brown, tried to fire it off of Thrasher and end up coming up empty. 6.41 to go. Throw in, NPC finds Fry, the sophomore. Fry fires that one in, looking for Limon. Almost had a great connection there. And NPC may very well come back to that play later on in this one. Ali Zarati gives chase for the home team up near the top line of the field. Deflecting it off of a lady cold. NPC will hang on to it. And Zarati will waste no time trying to find someone to throw it into. Ready and waiting is Lolita Fry. Finding in the middle to Tara Eichard. Eichard crossed up, falls down on the play on top of the ball even. We're going to have a whistle and a turnover here. There have been very few penalties, very few whistles in this one. And I think it says a lot in how this team has grown over the season for National Park College. Toward the beginning of the season, I can recall multiple offsides flags as the team worked on its communication and its spacing on the field. They've trusted the process this year. It's paid off in a big way. They've worked hard to put themselves in this position with the postseason looming. Here's a shot on the inside, just left of the goal. That one goes out of play. Less than five minutes to go here in half number one. Jackie Gonzalez will have the ball teed up at the edge of the goalie box. Ready to kick it away. Here it comes. Down the field, a line drive. Cossetot has its hands full. Down to the low line, out of play. It'll stay with the Lady Colts. Booming it down the field, picked up by Alex Siegel. NPC retreats on the back line with Andrea Reyna. Not much gets past number 22. Cynthia Lopez looking for help. Siegel picks it up on the run, fires it down low. What a line drive pass by Siegel. There's Limon in traffic, falls down on the play, can't keep it going. And the last to touch it will be Limon. So NPC coughs up the rock, a near miss there on a well-placed pass by Alex Siegel. 3.30 to go here in the first half. And the Nighthawks enjoying a 2-0 advantage. National Park will have it, wastes no time. Throwing it into the field of play here. 
Tara Eichard on the inside, turning it around to the Nighthawks. Looking to make a play here. It's taken away from Savannah Palmer Byrne. Eichard right back where she started here in Lady Colt territory. Now here's smooth moves by the Lady Colts. A flag and a foul. Eichard too physical with that attacker. And we'll have a new substitution readying to come in for NPC. Looks like Chloe Sosa will make her way back into the battle momentarily. 2.30 to go. The kick from the Lady Colts in tonight Hawk territory. Great block by Fry. NPC bringing it downhill. Savannah Palmer Byrne connecting. Up high is Chloe Sosa. Off to the races for the dual sport athlete. And that one sails out of play. Savannah Palmer Byrne takes a break for Chloe Sosa during the brief stoppage and play. 90 seconds to go. Jackie Gonzalez, the Cossetot keeper, has the ball lined up to kick away. Down the middle of the field, blocked by Limon, NPC, trying for another push here. Trying to pad the lead here late in the first half. Great blocking by Alex Siegel. It's been a great first half off the bench for that freshman. Knocked out of play. That'll allow the Lady Colts to catch up with things here with less than a minute to go. Yanisel Martinez in for Cynthia Lopez. Limon finds Yesenia Juarez on the throw in. Iker fires down low to Sosa, rejected by the Lady Colts, 30 seconds to go. Limon in on the inside to the ready and waiting Lalita Fry. Bicycle kick by Zerati there, unable to do anything with it. Tegan Thrasher almost there to try to make a play. And it's the final seconds of the first half tick away. It's kicked out of bounds by Andrea Reyna. And I'm hearing some chatter perhaps on the crowd mic that there may be a few seconds remaining. Like we mentioned, we did very well just to get the scoreboard back up and functional in this one. So it is possible that we have a, a slight discrepancy in the timing. We can blame Coach Pedro, right, Coach? Yeah. That's right. Coach Pedro, that's on you, buddy. We're joking, of course. But we, there's, there's certainly not much time left in the first half here. NPC with the ball. Lady Colts clear it downfield. Giving chase is Reyna. And, of course, the Nighthawks. Not feeling too much pressure, holding on to 2-0 advantage. Snow. Hey, and there's the halftime whistle. We've played 45 minutes here at Hot Springs World Class High School, and the National Park Nighthawk women are 45 minutes away from becoming Region 2 champions for the first time in program history. Coming up next, we'll talk to our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured player for today's game, Miss Tegan Thrasher. The second half of today's action coming your way shortly here on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits.
there's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. For me, wellness kind of means like being active, kind of get like healthy and stuff, interacting with everybody, not just like staying to yourself in like one building. So these are the two things I learned today. Uh, there's eight dimensions of wellness and that vaping could put metal in your lungs. I would say the social health aspect because within the vaping world, we kind of see a lot of social peer pressure. Wellness is multifaceted for me. Um, but the Entertainment Foundation focuses on the social-emotional. My name is Zach Eiling. I'm a nurse practitioner with Healthy Connections. Hi, my name is Sierra Whitby and I work for the Arkansas Tobacco Education Initiative and the American Lung Association as a health promotion specialist. Audrey Finland, president and founder of the Entertainment Foundation. My name is Stacia England. I'm with Sozo Recovery Center. My name is Tori Lemons and I work for OCYFS and I'm the case manager down there. I've been there for four years. With this being Region 8's first annual community wellness event, it's amazing to see the community partners that have shown up from law enforcement to healthcare to videography to therapy to uh, a wonderful musician. It's the reason the importance of that matters is that all the youth that have shown up today get to see adults in action who actually care. Um, they get to see the lived experience of people that are in the community just like them who have been through traumas and are trying to give back to their community but are also here to support. Here in Hot Springs Village and Region 8 as a whole, the preventionists have put together something that the youth can look forward to annually. It gives them something to aspire, something to be bigger than themselves, um, but also, more importantly, it gives them hope. It gives them a reason to keep going and to understand that there are people in the community who do care and are trying to make their world a better place. Prevention to me means staying away from what you gotta stay away from. Look, if you wanna go places in life, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol, stay away from those vices, you know, just that it's gonna get you off your path. You know, and no one's perfect, and everyone makes mistakes, but as long as you actively stay conscious of what you're trying to attain, those goals, you'll go far in life. I think that prevention can mean uh, protecting your family and like, like getting them away from the life that they, they can go down and you can like protect them and get them on the right track. Prevention means um, preventing a problem before it becomes an issue. Prevention would happen first so they wouldn't even have to come to treatment. If something happens, they can always come to us and we like to educate the community on ways that they can prevent drug and alcohol problems before they even have to come to treatment. So what prevention means to me is uh, trying to get everybody away from drugs, trying to keep people away from drugs as much as we can. Prevention to me means keeping my community safe and making sure everyone is staying healthy and out of anything bad. Preventing like drug abuse, alcohol abuse, like staying away from all those and like helping other people stay away from those. That would, that would be pretty. Prevention to me is like keeping something from happening. Growing up, my mother was a really heavy smoker and I remember always begging her to quit. She never did. She's had a lot of health complications coming from that, even having heart surgeries. And so I'm really wanting to focus in on the new people in the world and just like make sure that they know that tobacco use is bad. Two ways I stay away from alcohol and drugs, I play basketball and also tell the kids about how it's bad for me. I would have to say my son. Just knowing that he's growing and he needs me always keeps me straightforward. Like anytime I even think about doing something I shouldn't do, I always think about my son and that just keeps me on a positive note.
National Park College Nighthawk Women's Soccer is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured player of the week, Miss Tegan Thrasher. Tegan, welcome to National Park College. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Tegan Thrasher. I graduated from Alma High School and I played soccer there my senior year. Now, your story is kind of an interesting one. So while you're in high school, you kind of get recruited to, to join soccer for the first time in a long time. Tell me a little bit more about how that came about. Yeah, okay, so I played soccer a little bit as a kid, just like rec soccer, and I moved around a lot, so I kind of stopped playing, even though I kind of always like wanted to start playing again, but I was kind of scared. Um, and when I moved to Alma, like the end of my junior year, um, I got introduced to the soccer coach, um, and I really wanted to play. I tried out, I made the team. And we just started playing again. And you turned into quite a force for the Lady Airedales as well, becoming one of the, the top scorers, a reliable option, and it's really kind of helped propel you into the college ranks. So how did you find National Park College? What, what inspired you to join the Nighthawk women's soccer team? Um, actually, I was just touring here normally, like for just college. Um, my dad had kind of like planned it. He's always wanted me to play soccer um, at a college level. Um, so when I was here, I was talking to Takima about soccer and like possibly joining. And she just kind of mentioned it to Diego and then just contacted me. I joined the team. What's it been like this year? So brand new head coach for Diego Figueroa this season. And you're playing with a bunch of women that you've never played with before and, and coming in and trying to make a little bit of history this season. What's that been like for you being a part of this year's story? Um, it was definitely scary at first. I just didn't know if I could compete with the girls here. Just I never, haven't played in a while like they have. They've played their entire lives. Um, but overall, it's been a really positive experience. Um, I love all the girls here. It's like a, we're like a family. And I really like the coaches' morals and like what they teach us and like what's important to them is what's important to me too. Is it a big shift from high school soccer in terms of pacing whenever you get to the junior college level? We've thrown you to the wolves, as we've said all season long, some really good opponents, mm -hmm. nationally ranked opponents. You guys have learned a lot in the matches that you've played this season. What's that been like for you? Um, it's been interesting. Um, I've definitely learned a lot, not only just like technical skills like on the field, but like how to just like communicate as a team is really important. And just like even after like a hard loss, just like how to be there for your teammates and how to like stay positive and just like keep learning and keep pushing. It's been peaks and valleys. And of course, you guys know that the best. And one of the biggest peaks for the team this season is defeating University of Arkansas Cossata on the road, the first ever NJCAA Region 2 win for this program. And what is what did that mean for this team? You know, coming in, making a little bit of history along the way, uh, of course, as we prepare to take on the Lady Colts again, how big was that match for the mood and the motivation and the mindset of this team? I think it meant a lot just to like all of us and the coaches. Um, so we, we worked so hard and been through a lot as a team. So just having that win, it meant a lot to us. You get a chance at the Lady Colts one more time on Sunday. This one's for all the marbles. The Region 2 Championship is on the line, something this program has never done before. And it's a really exciting time to be a fan of Nighthawk women's soccer. What does that look like from your perspective and the team's perspective with a lot riding on this match this weekend? Uh, how do practices look like as you prepare for the Lady Colts again? We've been doing a lot of futsal, just working on our touch and also just working on finishing. Once we get up to the goal, it's hard for us sometimes to actually get it in the goal. So we've been working a lot on that um, just overall as a team. It's been a fun year, of course, creating history, great moments along the way. What is a, a favorite memory or a moment that really stands out to you from this season? Um, the one that comes to mind is like the very beginning of the year when we had a, a talent show with the whole team. Um, and it just like brought all of us out of our show and like brought us together as a team and really like bonded after that, I feel like. Tegan, we're so excited that you walked in the doors here at NPC. It's been a great year for women's soccer, a big opportunity for some history on Sunday night. Congratulations on the honor this week. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, obviously my family, um, my roommates in 117 and shout out to my good Judies in 316. Tegan Thrasher of Nighthawk Women's Soccer. You can follow the team online on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Special thank you to Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, the sponsor for the Featured Player of the Week. For Tegan Thrasher, I'm Mark Oliver. This is Nighthawk Women's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network.
Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. here at Hot Springs World Class High School, the start of the second half in this big NJCAA Region 2 showdown between the National Park Nighthawks and the University of Arkansas Cossata Lady Colts. I'm Mark Oliver with NPC 2-0 National Park College taking the lead in the first half on a couple of goals, one from Jada Hammett, one from Alondra Limon. And Limon's goal, you know, I really kind of had to rack my brain throughout women's soccer history. Probably one of the most exciting goals ever in women's soccer history here at NPC. A one-on-one -on -one block off of the keeper. It was able to boot it over her head with no one behind her able to score the goal. It was exciting to watch. That one's going to be certainly on the highlight reel, I think, all season long for Nighthawk Athletics. But still 45 minutes to go in this one. Still another opportunity. Plenty of soccer time left. The Lady Colts to get on the board and get back into this match. Just a minute off the board here in the second half of action. And of course, following this match, we'll have Nighthawk men's soccer action as well. Here on sophomore day, they'll take on the Colts. And much like the Nighthawk women, the Nighthawk men have an opportunity to punch their ticket to the postseason tonight here from Hot Springs World Class High School. We'll talk more about the men in about 43 soccer minutes or so here from Hot Springs World Class High School. But if you're just joining us for men's soccer, don't worry, it'll be right here on the same live stream link that you're on now. No new link if you need to catch men's action. And of course, we'll have our sophomore day festivities live streamed for you here before the start of the men's contest. So Lady Colts with the ball going to battle is Kaylee Goad and Jada Hammett moving right to left. That one fired in and Gonzalez will come from outside the net to reel in the loose ball. Trying to keep the Nighthawk offense away. That ball boomed in the midfield. Last touch by a Lady Colt and out of play. Right 
Yanisel Martinez will throw it in for the home team. She finds Natalie Bryce, and here we go. That one popped up. Emily Gurel there, one on one. Gurel feeds it over to Goad, off of Gonzalez, stays with it. Goad fires, blocked. What an impressive effort from the Lady Colts goalkeeper, Jackie Gonzalez. Dove at the ball to stop it, got right back up to make another save. Amoy Gale manning the back line for NPC. As the crowd continues to file in here at Hot Springs World Class High School, here's Chloe Sosa. Sosa threading the needle down low, looking for Gurel, and it's poked away out of play. Emily Gurel, your leading scorer for National Park College this season. Gurel will go out to locate the loose ball and bring it back into action here. I believe it's going to be Yanni Martinez that brings it in for the home team. The throw in finds Natalie Bryce. Bryce to Hammett, working up the middle. Sosa, Bryce turns, fires off the hand of Gonzalez. A big save. And she pushes that one up over the crossbar and out of play. It's been two, really even three shots on goal for NPC early here in the second half. Nighthawks in the driver's seat. Next destination, a Region 2 championship. It'll be Natalie Bryce attempting a corner kick for NPC. Nighthawks build the wall, shot is up. A header off of a Lady Colt still in play. Bryce, body block, stays with it, one on two. Can't find Emily Gurel. Gurel gives chase to reel in the loose ball. Nighthawks are going to turn it around and get another attempt here. Fed back to Alfaro. Bryce and Gurel exchanging passes, and that one's booted out of play. That'll give the Lady Colts an opportunity to catch up and line up how they won on defense here. Five minutes off the clock in the second frame. Yanisel Martinez will inbound, and she finds Jada Hammett. Hammett gave the Nighthawks the lead early in this one, about 15 minutes into the action. Alondra Limon added goal number two later in the first half. That's where NPC stands. Here's an errant pass intended for Yanisel Martinez. Lady Colts will have it inside Nighthawk territory. The throw in finds Martinez now coming the other way. Hammett fires down the line, giving chases. Gurel, she picks it up. Emily Gurel turns on the Jets. Gurel into Lady Colt territory. Turns, fires, and gets it into the net. Gurel has her fifth of the season. She squeaks it past Gonzalez for the goal. An impressive strike by Emily Gurel, the freshman, 3-0 NPC. NPC continuing to fire on all cylinders here in the second half. Gurel with the goal. Nighthawks with full momentum here at home. Lady Colts looking to light up the scoreboard and start the rally here. That one sails out of play. Just under 38 minutes to go in this one. Goals by Hammett, Limon, and Gurel for NPC. Oh, 
National Park retrieves the loose ball, gets set for the throw in across the way. Alfaro to Gurrell, Lady Colts come up with the loose ball. Taking it down the field, Tanea Miller is there. Nighthawks on the move, it's Andrea Reyna on the top line, fires it in, Gurrell had an opportunity to try to push past Gonzalez for her second consecutive goal, but that window closed quickly. Gonzalez booms it downfield into Nighthawk territory. Here come the Lady Colts in traffic. Gale sending it the other way. Lady Colts not done pushing here yet. Out of play. And the ladies in white will have it. Cossetant readies the throw in. Missing its intended target, Andrea Reyna will just send it into the forest. Eventually someone will have to go get that thing, I guess, coach. It's brutal. Brutal going after the loose balls here at Hot Springs High, no doubt about it. And of course, that loose ball sails right through the wide open gate and down the ravine. All jokes aside, NPC has it. 35 35 to play. Reina with the throw in finds a Moy Gale. And the Nighthawks will start moving it down the field right to left. Alfaro in the middle. Stretches down the way. Looking for Kaylee Goad. Goad turns, fires, scores! Kaylee Goad on sophomore day. Puts the Nighthawks up 4-0. What a shot by Goad. And I know they're celebrating in the comments section. We see you out there. The Kaylee Goad fan club in full force on the broadcast today. There was no doubt about it on that strike by the sophomore. 35 minutes to go. Four different Nighthawks have lit up the scoreboard here at home. Two sophomores, two freshmen. And now the Nighthawks keeping their foot on the gas here at midfield. Hammett sends that one down low. Here comes Gurrell. An opportunity, one on one off the keeper and Gonzalez will reel it in and stop the threat. NPC is feeling it here offensively. Gale threads it to Hammett down low. There's Yanisel Martinez. Martinez skates past a defender. Needing help. Pass intended for Bryce goes astray. Nighthawks keep possession with 34 minutes to play. Martinez into Lady Colt territory where it's sent out of play by the ladies in white. Last touched by Angela Brown for the Lady Colts. And the Nighthawks will have it here. Martinez finds Jada Hammett. Fancy footwork, Hammett heads into Lady Colt territory, deflected off of a Cossetant defender. And now Jackie Gonzalez and the Lady Colts start to build the wall. Here comes the corner kick. Once again, it's Natalie Bryce for NPC. Yeah. 
Here's the kick on its way. Header by Alfaro takes it the other way. And now the Lady Colts will get an opportunity to get out of the shadow of their own net. Nighthawks not done attacking here. Lady Colts come away with a steal from Alfaro. Bryce, a collision, takes it right back. Miller sends it back toward Gonzalez and the Lady Colts. Garrell one on three. Sends it high to Andrea Reyna. Reyna turns and fires just a little wide. And no opportunity for Chloe Sosa to send a strike into the net. Substitutions checking in. It's Lolita Fry for NPC. Emily Garrell takes a much deserved breather. Thirty-two minutes to go. Gonzalez has the football. Ready to launch for the Lady Colts. On its way to the middle of the field. Ready and waiting are the Nighthawks. Kaylee Goad picks up the rock. Reyna plays cat and mouse with the defender from Cossetot. Goad with fancy footwork. Passes it in, but it's intercepted by Fernanda Lopez. Out of play, Cossetot ball. 31 minutes to go. On the throw in, Natalie Alfaro battles with a defender. Picked up by Fry and the Nighthawks. Hammett, the pass up high. Kaylee Goad has it stripped away one on two. Nighthawks with great touches continue to keep it in Cossetot territory. Here's Reyna working down the line to the corner. Reyna turns, fires, and sends it off. Out of play. So a defensive substitution, Natalie Alfaro and Kaylee Goad are going to trade places. Down low, Yanisel Martinez struggles to get the ball back for NPC. She does. Feeds it to Amoy Gale. And here come the Nighthawks coming the other way. Jada Hammett in the middle for the home team. The ladies in black on the run. Hammett, here's a whistle. It's going to be a foul, I believe, against Hammett. There was a collision prior to that whistle. Lady Colts have it. Less than 30 minutes to play. Across the way, the Nighthawk men are preparing for war as they take on Cossetot following this match on your screen. Should be a fun one tonight here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Throw in from the Lady Colts, picked up by Cossetot. NPC trying to get it right back, and they do. It'll be Yanisel Martinez at the bottom of your screen throwing it in. The reset to the back line, Tanea Miller. And a well-placed pass finds Chloe Sosa near the middle. Into Lady Colt territory, into no man's land, and it's cleared away by the keeper. Picked up by Bryce, coming the other way. NPC with an opportunity. Bryce turns, fires a little too high.
Gonzalez ready to rock with the ball just outside the net. Kick on its way. Lady Colts get it into Nighthawk territory here. Turning it around. Getting it past Tanea Miller. Body block. Lady Colts trying to stay with it. Looking for momentum. Looking to cut into a 4-0 deficit here in the second half. Lalita Fry turns, fires downfield. Jada Hammett, one-on-one. -on -one. Hammett stays with it, pokes it through. Fry gives chase. Can't get to the ball in time. Want to say hello to Jessica McCoy watching on the broadcast, cheering on Kaylee Goad in the National Park Nighthawks. I know you enjoyed that goal from Goad. <laughs> Tiffany Mitchell is watching from Kaylee's hometown in Texas. Cheering on NPC. Glad to have all of you here with us. Wish you are here in the stadium. You know, talking about Kaylee Goad. Kaylee was the very first student athlete into the building here, preparing for today's match. She entered about two hours early before the start of the match. That's the kind of leadership and mental preparation that she gives to the game she loves so much. As a fly on the wall, as we were setting up the broadcast up here in the score booth, Kaylee took some time and took in the, the sights and the feel of the stadium when everything was empty. Turned it into a big goal here on sophomore night for the dual sport athlete. Nighthawks have the ball, 25-36 to go. Here's Chloe Sosa. That one fed inside. Here comes the foot race, one-on-one, -on -one and nearly poked away from Gonzalez. I know Andrea Reyna set up Natalie Alfaro very well there on the pass, but NPC unable to convert as they look for number five today. It was a 5-0 win over Cossetan back on September 23rd. Knocked away, last touch by Jada Hammett. The Lady Colts will have it. Less than 25 to go. This is a women's soccer team that's been, I think, motivated all season long. Last year, the NJCAA Region 2 only had one team, and that was National Park College. So there wasn't an opportunity to play conference matches. There wasn't an opportunity to win a Region 2 championship. But this is a team that went out on September 23rd, traveled down to Ashdown, and in their first conference game in school history, took that win over Constantin. And now in their second Region 2 match in school history, they're looking to hang their first banner in Nighthawk history as Region 2 champions. And of course, if this score holds, we'll talk more about the postseason and what that may look like, who it may be against. We've got a player down for University of Arkansas, Cossetot, and a stoppage in play. Of course, UAC does not have a lot of depth available on its bench for today's contest. And is currently playing with just 10 players on the field. So I believe we'll resume play here, and it will be the keeper 
Jackie Gonzalez to kick it away. Here's the kick, it's a line drive. Picked up by the Lady Colts, trying to send it the other way. Intercepted, Chloe Sosa. Feeding it to Natalie Alfaro, back to Sosa. Nighthawks moving the ball well on the inside, Andrea Reyna. Top lane has Lopez. Last touch by the Lady Colts. Natalie Bryce picks up the loose ball off the crossbar. Back into the field of play is still a live ball. And it's knocked out of play. Bryce has had multiple lasers fired in towards Jackie Gonzalez today. Unable to convert so far. That was certainly the closest opportunity we've seen today. And a near miss. I know that'll motivate Bryce to try again. Pops that one up just outside the net. And perhaps she heard us talking about her. And she fires in another attempt there. And the loose ball <laughs> heads into the parking lot through the open gate. It seems like the ball always finds the open gate. And the long trek back for Gonzalez and the Lady Colts. 22 minutes remain in this one. The regular season finale for National Park College. With the postseason looming November 4th. Into the field of play we go. Tegan Thrasher trying to turn things around, get the ball back for NPC here. Chloe Sosa comes up with the steal, taken right back by the Lady Colts. Now working their way down the line, here comes Cossetant. Cossetant feeding to the middle. Sending it down on the low line. It's Samantha Fernandez. Fernandez gives chase. Can't get there in time. It's out of play. And now that ball sails off. But NPC will have it. A long field to go. Here's Yesenia Juarez. She throws it into a Moy Gale. Gale down the field, nowhere to go. NPC certainly feeling comfortable in this one, leading 4-0. It was 2-0 at the break. Two more goals in the second half. Emily Gorell and Kaylee Goad finding the back of the net here in the second 45 minute period. Hammett and Limon in the first. And into Nighthawk territory. No sweat for Deity Hale who launches it roll. And of course the Nighthawks now looks like they're getting some help from the men's soccer team. Retrieving some of the loose balls. Headed back to the back of the complex. 20 minutes to go. Here in the home finale for National Park College. Fed into the field of play. Lolita Fry turns it around, clears it the other way. Lady Colts on the back line are going to send it right back. Picked up down low by Samantha Fernandez. Lady Colts ball. Fernandez throws it in. Amoy Gale gives chase. There's a push off. NPCs coming the other way. Chloe Sosa to Natalie Bryce in the middle of the field. Down the way we go, turning on the Jets are the Nighthawks. Gonzalez comes out way deep to kick it away. Good leadership decision by the keeper. Last touched by a Nighthawk as it goes out of bounds. 19.08 to play. Gale kicks it downfield. Picked up by Andrea Reyna at midfield. Down the line, sends one for Natalie Alfaro. Gonzalez is there, 
Deflected, headed to the top of the lane. There's still time to save that one in play. It's Cynthia Lopez. Fires it in down low. Here's an opportunity. It's Lolita Fry for NPC. Sends it around Tegan Thrasher. Has wide open spaces. Thrasher to Fry. Turns, fires toward the middle. It's rejected. Sent the other way. Juarez with the double header. And kicked back toward the Lady Colts. Still anybody's ball here. We've got a whistle. Handball. And Lolita Fry is going to get the opportunity to strike here. Big opportunity for NPC. Coach Diego Figueroa says from the sideline, just go out there and score. Here we go. The kick from Fry up on its way, just out of play. In addition to her time in women's soccer, Lolita Fry is also very focused on her academics here at National Park College, part of the NPC nursing program. Of course, a hometown hero here for NPC, loves representing the community that she calls home. And can't wait to give back to her community through nursing. Great story for the Nighthawk sophomore. Her family in attendance today here on sophomore day. Fed in down low is Angela Brown, who just kicks it out of play. Tegan Thrasher out to retrieve the loose ball for National Park. Thrasher on the throw in, hits Andrea Reyna. Fancy footwork, Eichard at the line, tripped up, that ball is still in play. To Thrasher, on the inside, nowhere to go. Thrasher comes back for it. Opportunity to turn it around in space. Thrasher into the middle, can't find Natalie Alfaro. And the Nighthawks are gonna bring it back. Tanea Miller looking for Alondra Limon at the top of the field. No. Lady Colts stay with it, but they need help. Thrasher, it's a foot race. That one's out of play. 16 minutes to go here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Ali Zarati into the game. Natalie Alfaro takes a break. Throw in Thrasher. Down the line has Reyna set up. Eichard not in position to make a play. Sends it back to Yesenia Juarez. Nighthawks continue to stay in Lady Colt territory here. Reyna with an opportunity blocked by the keeper. And that's about as close as you can get if you're Andrea Reyna. Excellent effort out of the super sophomore. It will be National Park ball. Natalie Bryce with another corner kick incoming. Here's the kick. On its way, had the distance, but NPC unable to get ahead on it. Limon with the pickup over to Amoy Gale. In the middle is Chloe Sosa. Off of a knee by Reyna. Here's an opportunity, Thrasher stays with it. Thrasher at the line, can't control it, it's out of bounds. Fourteen oh eight to play in this one. Nighthawks in command, 4-0. The fans are loving it here at Hot Springs High. Great crowd, beautiful weather. 
in the opening huddle right before this match started. It's led by the sophomores and Jada Hammett and her last words to her team before going out to battle. She said, it's our turn to hang a banner. And of course, Nighthawk men's soccer winning its first Region 2 championship last year, defeating North Arc. Celebrated at Nighthawk Madness Friday evening in the kettle at NPC where their championship banner was unveiled. And was that motivation for women's soccer to go out today to get the job done? Absolutely. And they've done very well for themselves in this match today. Four goals, four different strikers. Hammett, Limon, Gurel, and Goad. Twelve thirty-six remaining. Gonzalez on the kick. Down the field finds Sosa. Natalie Bryce, opposite field to Alondra Limon. One of the quickest Nighthawks to ever do it. Limon fires, and Gonzalez is there ready to go. So we'll come back the other way with 12 minutes to play. Gonzalez's kick is deep. Off the head of Natalie Bryce into Nighthawk territory where it will sail out of play, and the Lady Colts will have an opportunity to try to find Deity Hale for NPC. <laughs> Lady Colts on the throw in. Staying with it up high. Tanea Miller giving a little space defensively, getting set just in case of a shot opportunity. And that one just a little bit wide right. Deity Hale lets it roll out of play. Into the game for NPC, Alex Siegel is back. And so is Kaylee Goad. Ball back in play for NPC. Miller feeds it downfield. On the move are the Nighthawks as Tegan Thrasher gives chase, but is unable to stay with it. Reyna, last to touch as it goes out of play. Angela Brown brings it back in for the Lady Colts. Reyna has her hands full. Ali Zarati's there to poke it away. Here comes Reyna. Reyna's had opportunities all day long, looking to strike, and it's just barely deflected out of play. Another close call for Andrea Reyna. And if you can hear the war march over the crowd, Mike, that's the Hot Springs World Class High School Band. They're here, and they're getting into the match as well. Nine oh five to play in this one. National Park College cruising here on sophomore day. Alondra Limon will take a seat and 
Lalita Fry is back into the match for NPC. Reyna picks up the ball, looking for help up high, can't quite connect with Zerati. She steals it right back. Sosa in the middle. Sosa fires and deflected by the keeper. A great stop by Gonzalez on a pass that was otherwise sailing right on in. 8.09 to play. Jada Hammett back into the ball game for the Nighthawks. A corner kick will be incoming for the home team, Natalie Bryce. And it looks like Bryce will Seed to Jada Hammett for the corner kick instead. Hammett ready to fire. Kick is on its way. Off the foot of Reyna, still in play. Zarati turns it around, poked away by the Lady Colts. Nighthawks get it on the turnaround. Tanea Miller at the back line. Miller on the inside. Zarati back to Miller. Sliding stop. NPC is still there. Zerati to the middle of the field. Finds Sosa. One on two. No go. Back to the back line. National Park stays with it with Savannah Palmer Byrne. Alex Siegel. Down low is Tegan Thrasher. Thrasher advancing. Thrasher turning. Put up by Reyna. No. NPC still with the ball. Back to the back line is Siegel. One on one, Siegel stays with it, contact. Now back to the Lady Colts. Cossetot fires, deflected by Kaylee Goad. Cossetot on the move. And a big mismatch here defensively. Here come the Lady Colts. He, Hale with the save, deflecting it off the top of the crossbar. What a play by the keeper. And that drive was all University of Arkansas. Cossetot never bent to the pressure of the Nighthawks. Marched all the way down the field. Deity Hale has not had to do much tonight. But she stood tall whenever it mattered the most. Cossetot will have it in the corner. Corner kick on its way. Deflected by the Nighthawks right in front of the net. NPC trying to take it away, and they do. Thrasher gives space. Picked up by Hammett. Here comes Jada. Here come the National Park Nighthawks. Hammett down the line, has as much room as she wants. Staying with it, Hammett, one-on-one, -on -one, fancy footwork, turns, fires to the middle, Zarati, no, picked up by the keeper. Excellent movement from the National Park Nighthawks on that drive. That ball goes away, and that's gonna be offsides. NPC will have the ball, 4.30 to go. Fry to the middle of the field, Chloe Sosa popped up in the air. Tanea Miller sends it back to Fry, up the middle, here's Reyna. Another attempt, no, Gonzalez is there. Feels like the tension between that matchup, Andrea Reyna and Jackie Gonzalez, it's palpable. Here's Tegan Thrasher. Thrasher fires, deflected by a Lady Colt. Sliding stop made by Jada Hammett. And there's a whistle on the play. It's gonna go to University of Arkansas, Cossetown. Less than four minutes 
remaining in this battle. Lady Colts to kick it away. And here it comes down the field. Tegan Thrasher is there. Popped up by Palmer Byrne. Sosa to the middle, Lalita Fry. Fry looking for help, there's Andrea Arena. Pass back, intercepted, coming the other way. Siegel to Thrasher. Here comes Tegan Thrasher. Thrasher has some running room. Thrasher passes on the middle. Reina, no. And a souvenir for Aaron Brewer. It's going to be Nighthawk ball. And Lolita Fry is going to be the kicker as NPC heads to the corner. Nighthawk men's soccer entering the stadium, getting ready for their battle. Just minutes away. The corner kick from Fry on its way. And knocked away by the Lady Colts. Alex Siegel is there, the last line of defense on the back line. Picked up by Zarati. Into the middle is Andrea Reyna. Reyna turns on the Jets. Stays with the ball. Needs help, Zarati fires one up and away out of play. Less than two minutes to go before the Nighthawk women will make history here at home. Lady Colts pick up the deep kick from Gonzalez. Heading left to right on your screen. Nighthawks giving chase, looking to turn it around and they do. Thrasher picks it up. One on two, Thrasher turns on the jet, stays with it for NPC. It's knocked out of play. One minute remains in this match. Brown with the ball for the Lady Colts. Thrasher steals it away for NPC. Looking to add a punctuation mark to this match here tonight. Into the hands of the awaiting keeper. 30 seconds to go. Boomed down the field. Sosa picks it up. Here come the Nighthawks. Reyna to Zarati. Chloe Sosa looking to drive it home for National Park College. That ball goes out of play. Lolita Fry goes out to claim the loose ball for National Park College. She'll have a corner kick here. On its way. Thrasher can't get it to go. Hammett strikes out of the net. No good. Final seconds here in this match coming up. And for the first time in National Park College women's soccer history, your Nighthawks are Region 2 champions. 
They defeat the University of Arkansas Cossetot 4-0. The Nighthawks will move on to the postseason for the first time in program history. Congratulations to Coach Diego Figueroa, to Coach Pedro Balaguer, and to your Nighthawk women for standing tall and getting it done, making history for Hot Springs team here tonight at Hot Springs World Class High School. They're celebrating here on the field for National Park College. We'll take a break and wrap things up here in women's action, but don't go anywhere. Men's action comes your way next, right here on the Nighthawk Network. Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Final score in today's match, National Park College defeats the University of Arkansas Cossetot 4-0 to zero to win the program's first NJCAA Region 2 championship in school history. Congratulations to Nighthawk Women's Soccer. They'll be moving on to the postseason on November 4th. They'll head to Missouri. We do not know their opponent as of this time, but we do know that they will play the winner of NJCAA Region 16 in the District Championship, which means that your National Park Nighthawks are not only winners of the region, they're moving on to the District Final and one win away from heading to the National Championship in Tucson, Arizona. What a season it's been for this Nighthawk women team resilient, bending, never breaking. It's been a tough road in some places, but they've stayed strong. They've continued to improve and get better every single step of the way. And tonight, they'll celebrate as Region 2 champions. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this edition of Nighthawk Women's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network, but don't go anywhere. We've got a whole other match coming your way next. We'll have a brief intermission. Men's Sophomore Day Ceremony will be coming up after this on the Nighthawk Network. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment.
Trinity and Hunt Mason. And welcome to sophomore day. It's the Jordan Knight Class of May, the soccer team here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Today the Patriot Week for 17 sensational student athletes who have not only helped write their history books for Hot Springs team, but have left some lasting impact in their time with Knight Hawk Athletics. Luke could be more proud of these nine young men, not only for what they've achieved athletically, but academically as well. And he lists them the best of luck. That bright future that lies ahead. Introducing your 2023 Nighthawk Sophomores. <laughs> Introducing sophomore Carlos Ayala. With 110 team charges in last year, Carlos returns to the Nighthawk with unfinished business, paving the way for a historic season for the Nighthawk. Carlos was escorted today by his former teammate, David Ruiz. Congratulations to sophomore Carlos Ayala. <laughs> Introducing sophomore Saad Al-Aziki. Missing last season due to injury, Saad bounced back in a big way this year, developing into a critical defensive presence for the National Park Nighthawks. Saad is escorted today by teammate Ali Muganga. Congratulations to sophomore Saad El Razidi. Introducing sophomore Patrick Chan. So Chan, NPC, provided a second chance to continue playing the game he loved with full confidence from his teammates and his coaches. This sophomore year will stop at nothing to bring national recognition to Nighthawk men's soccer this season. He gets worked away by Rene Marchand. Congratulations to sophomore Patrick Chan. Introducing sophomore Omar Uribari. Soccer isn't just a game for Omar, it's in his blood and he puts his heart and soul into every play. When he stepped on the field, his mission is simple, to make the most of every opportunity he's given and finish with no regret. Omar is escorted today by our athletic trainer, Tiffany. Congratulations to sophomore Omar Uribari. Introducing sophomore Henry Gomez. Anytime Henry's number is called, this junior sophomore is ready to rise to the challenge. His deciding goal against Northwestern City is not only his biggest personal highlight this season, but one of the brightest memories for NPC this year. He's escorted by his father, Raymundo, his mother, Sandra, his brother, Diego, and his sister, Jessica. Congratulations to sophomore Henry Gomez. <laughs> Introducing sophomore Zach Avery.
Team Sophomore Tobias Minkin. Everyone has a favorite Cody Emmett, and it is easy to see why. Owen, you're not only on the field, but you get the chance to learn as well. Tobias Minkin is a man long remembered at National Park College. He is escorted by his friend Jeremiah, and congratulations to sophomore Tobias Minkin. Sophomore Daniel Davis. We see the disappointment is just the beginning for Dan and the Nighthawk Golf Team, leading every match this season as a must win can and has helped them to rewrite their history books over the years. His biggest win at his first team tour is a Dallas Cowboys team battle. Daniel is escorted by Renee Marshall. Congratulations to sophomore Daniel Davis. Introducing sophomore Luke Berry. <laughs> Leading the team with a big 22 base percentage this season. Captain of National Super Stars as well. And got an MVP vote to three wins this season at Gold Keeper. The three team singles is tied for third in the AP MVP and AP National Championship. Another group is held down by his teammate, Darius Gustafson. Congratulations to sophomore Luke Berry. Introducing sophomore Noah Skull. It's been a breakout year for Daniel as he made it and has to consistently find ways to light up the scoreboard. He seems to pull out this season not one but two goals with his University of Arkansas Tar Heels and MVP Championship Series winner. Now he is eager to get back on the team his sophomore year and that should matter for him. He also is escorted by Renee Marshall. Introducing sophomore Felix Rocca. After becoming MTC's all time leading scorer last season, Felix took the midfield of his career and grew into one of the toughest defenders in program history. Felix is escorted by his professor, Jennifer Ryan. Congratulations to sophomore Felix Rocca. <laughs> Introducing sophomore Kevin Puente. Defensive force at center back, Puente's presence on the back line has literally saved games for the Nighthawks this season. He's been the highlight of the year, scoring a goal to take them down in a ranked four winner. Now congratulations, Kevin Ellis is a GA soccer at a four-year university. Today he's escorted by his mother, Maria, his father, Jose, his sister, Kira and Katarina, his aunt, Janelle and Estella, and his grandmother, Angela. Congratulations to sophomore Kevin Puente. Introducing sophomore Andre Oriongo. Andre's biggest highlights this season were avoiding a goal and an assist in MTC's victory over Johnson University. And his favorite night hop memory is scoring the Pearl River in the season opener. He loves his MTC family and is excited for a bright future ahead. Andre's escorted by his family. Congratulations to 
Introducing sophomore Zachariah Abdi. New to Nighthawk Nation this season. And this week's Stone Cold Production is now joined by Mark Jeff Mark and Mark Jeff Goldberg. Two weeks ago, they showed up for two minutes and they were really the hard to get through. Two weeks of shooting, Mark Jeff versus the Zachary Lee Stone. Zachary Lee is a young player now who tackled Armada. Congratulations to sophomore Zachariah Abdi. Sophomore Luis Soto. Introducing sophomore Evan Stafford. As NPC's all-time leader in saves, Stafford stands tall as a result of his season through this program. This game of Nighthawk Nation is celebrated with your team after Urban Martinez's big goal against Valley College. Urban Martinez joins him as his escort today. Congratulations to sophomore Evan Stafford. Oscar Fabula. Sophomore day ceremonies coming to a close here at Hot Springs World Class High School and what a season it has been for these Nighthawk men. Tonight they go to battle against University of Arkansas Cossetot with their second consecutive Region 2 championship on the line. We'll be back for the opening kickoff of this match coming up next. This is National Park College Nighthawk men's soccer on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick. 
and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. For me, wellness kind of means like being active, kind of get like healthy and stuff, interacting with everybody and not just like staying to yourself in like one building. So these are the two things I learned today. Uh, there's eight dimensions of wellness and that vaping could put metal in your lungs. I would say the social health aspect because within the vaping world, we kind of see a lot of social peer pressure. Wellness is multifaceted for me, um, but the Entertainment Foundation focuses on the social emotional. My name is Zach Eiling. I'm a nurse practitioner with Healthy Connections. Hi, my name is Sierra Whitby and I work for the Arkansas Tobacco Education Initiative and the American Lung Association as a health promotion specialist. Audrey Finland, president and founder of the Entertainment Foundation. My name is Stacia Anglin. I'm with Sosa Recovery Center. My name is Tori Lemons and I work for OCYFS and I'm the case manager down there. I've been there for four years. With this being Region 8's first annual community wellness event, it's amazing to see the community partners that have shown up from law enforcement to healthcare to videography to therapy to uh, a wonderful musician. It's the reason the importance of that matters is that all the youth that have shown up today get to see adults in action who actually care. Um, they get to see the lived experience of people that are in the community just like them who have been through traumas and are trying to give back to their community but are also here to support. Here in Hot Springs Village and Region 8 as a whole, the preventionists have put together something that the youth can look forward to annually. It gives them something to aspire, something to be bigger than themselves, um, but also, more importantly, it gives them hope. It gives them a reason to keep going and to understand that there are people in the community who do care and are trying to make their world a better place. Prevention to me means staying away from what you gotta stay away from. Look, if you wanna go places in life, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol, stay away from those vices, you know, just that it's gonna get you off your path. You know, and no one's perfect and everyone makes mistakes, but as long as you actively stay conscious of what you're trying to attain, those goals, you'll go far in life. I think that prevention can mean uh, protecting your family and like, like getting them away from the life that they, they can go down and you can like protect them and get them on the right track. Prevention means um, preventing a problem before it becomes an issue. Prevention would happen first so they wouldn't even have to come to treatment. If something happens, they can always come to us and we like to educate the community on ways that they can prevent drug and alcohol problems before they even have to come to treatment. So what prevention means to me is uh, trying to get everybody away from drugs, trying to keep people away from drugs as much as we can. Prevention to me means keeping my community safe and making sure everyone is staying healthy and out of anything bad. Preventing like drug abuse, alcohol abuse, like staying away from all those and like helping other people stay away from those. That would, that would be pretty cool. Prevention to me is like keeping something from happening. Growing up, my mother was a really heavy smoker and I remember always begging her to quit. She never did. She's had a lot of health complications come from that, even having heart surgeries. And so I'm really wanting to focus in on the new people in the world and just like make sure that they know that tobacco use is bad. Two ways I stay away from alcohol and drugs, I play basketball and also tell the kids about how it's bad for me. I would have to say my son. Just knowing that he's growing and he needs me always keeps me straightforward. Like anytime I even think about doing something I shouldn't do, I always think about my son and that just keeps me on a positive note.
live from Hot Springs World Class High School in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. This is National Park College Nighthawk Men's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network, your home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to this edition of National Park Nighthawk Athletics. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. History for the Nighthawk women moments ago winning their first NJCAA Region 2 championship in program history. And now it's time for the men to go to battle and see if they can win back-to-back -back region titles for the first time in National Park history. We've got a good one on our hands today. University of Arkansas Cossetot comes to town from southwestern Arkansas, making the short trip up to Hot Springs. And they're going to try to spoil the Nighthawks here on a potential opportunity to clinch the championship right here on its home field. We're glad to have you with us on the broadcast today. Today's game brought to you by the following sponsors, by Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, by RAD, Rise Above Alcohol and Drugs, and by CA. H.I. St. Vincent, proud sponsors of Nighthawk Athletics this season. And if you're watching on the broadcast and you'd like to support Nighthawk Nation, you can do so by visiting us online at np.edu slash athletics. We are underway here at Hot Springs World Class High School where the Nighthawk men go to battle in kind of in rare territory, so to speak, for this Nighthawk club this season. 11-1 and two, and yes, that one, the first loss of the season last week, taking a tough one against Crowder College, falling two to one. And now it's an opportunity to see the team that was undefeated all the way up till the game before this one, how they respond, how that drives them, how that feeds the hunger, how that motivates the goals that this team has as they look to punch their ticket to Missouri in the postseason coming up on November 3rd. As always, you know the drill. It does not matter which team you're rooting for. Let us know where you're watching from and who you're excited to see. I see former Nighthawk Steven Torres out there on the broadcast. Hello, Steven. Hope all is well for you. And I see Jane Chan, Patrick's mom, watching on the broadcast from Sydney, Australia. So glad to have you with us, Jane. Sorry that you couldn't be here tonight. We wish you were here. But uh, Patrick Chan, one of the team captains prior to the opening kickoff in tonight's game, and he has been a phenomenal sophomore leader for this program. Of course, moments ago, had the opportunity to recognize 17 sensational sophomores for this Nighthawk men's squad coming in and rewriting the history books for this Nighthawk program. We have bragged on this team what well, sounds like for years at this point. You know, this is a program that's only in year three of its existence and had a really tough go in year number one. You know, not ashamed to tell the story. Nighthawks did not win a match in their first season in program history. A lot of close ones, fought hard, but could not get it done. But a group that came back last year, last year's sophomores, bolstered by players that are now this year's sophomores, coming together, not only winning the first NJCAA Region 2 match in program history, but taking down the first Region 2 title in program history. Went on to the district semifinals last year and fell in a very close heartbreaker. And that has been the motivating force that has driven this team all season long. Unfinished business. Nighthawks on the move here early in the first half, just about three minutes off the clock here at home. And chasing a large amount of history here. Of course, Nighthawk men's soccer was the first National Park College team in any sport to win a Region 2 championship. That was last year, defeating North Arc right here at Hot Springs High. They're looking to be the first NPC program ever to do it back to back. On Friday night, in the kettle, that's our basketball gym here at National Park College. We had Nighthawk Madness, an introduction to Nighthawk men and women's basketball. Sneak peek at the teams this year. But in addition to revealing the Nighthawk men's basketball Region 2 banner, the Nighthawk men's soccer team also got to celebrate the reveal of its Region 2 banner. Here's sophomore Noah Searle. One on one, blocked by the keeper, out of play, Lionel Queller. Picks up his 71st save of the season 
for UAC. And as we talk about Noah Searle, we're looking at him to be quite a key cog in the wheel for this matchup tonight. It was back on September 23rd where this Nighthawk men's team went down to Ashdown, Arkansas and played against these Colts. Noah Searle had a very big game that night, scoring not one, but two goals. And he's really evolved into a huge offensive threat for this team this season. Searle on the move here, looking for a little bit of help inside Irvin Martinez. And up high to the top of the field is Tim Heck for NPC. Nighthawks took down the Colts 5-1 in that game. And then, of course, after beating North Arkansas College here at home recently, it was a nail biter. The Nighthawks in the driver's seat and can lock up the region tonight with a win or a draw in tonight's contest. Noah Searle fires that one in. Quellar comes in and reels in the save, or reels in the, the kick, I should say. Five minutes off the clock here in the first half. We've talked about Noah Searle quite a lot here in the past five minutes, and I knew Dad would chime in. Hello, Paul. He's back home in New Zealand. You know, the past couple of home games, Paul's been here in America cheering on Noah from right here in the home stands. What a long way to go to cheer on your son. Love the energy, and I, I, I love just the fam family and the camaraderie, not only that Paul gives to his son Noah. We see it for Jane and her son Patrick. We see it all across the comment section, each and every home game. Everybody able to tune in and, and cheer on their sons, their children from all across the world. This is a team that is bolstered by a plethora of international talent coming from all across the world to make Dogwood Hall and National Park College here in Hot Springs their home for soccer. Patrick Chan, a near miss just outside the right goal post. Thought he had it, but NPC continuing to stay aggressive on offense. That's been the MO for this team all season long. Dating back to the first match of the season, Pearl River Community College. That's the former home of head coach Diego Figueroa. And in the first game of the season, NPC came in right here on this very field as underdogs against the number 13 ranked Pearl River Wildcats and took them down in a stunning upset. And that has proved to be the spark that really ignited a fire for this National Park Nighthawk team this season. Good last year, don't get me wrong. Went on and won the region, but this year came in and in the 13 first matches of the season remained undefeated before suffering its first loss of the season just last week in a heartbreaker in Missouri against a good Crowder College team. Final home game of the season for National Park College, but their regular season is not quite done yet. They'll travel to North Arkansas College and finish the season in Harrison with one more Region 2 contest. So we've talked about women's action and winning the Region 2 battle, and the next question becomes, where are they headed? Who are they playing? When are they playing? And the women's soccer team will have to wait until next Sunday to know who their opponent will be and where they will play in the district championship. We do know that it will be played on November 5th in Missouri. That's good information to know, so go ahead and, and get your calendars booked for November 5th in Missouri. And then also, the men, if they win the region, they will not know until Saturday but what we do know is that the men will face off against the winner of NJCAA Region 16, which is a large number of Missouri-based schools here in, our, uh, here in the United States. Thanks to Athletic Director Rich Thompson, he's already on the phone making plans. And a man whose work is never done when it comes to Nighthawk Athletics. He even fixed the scoreboard earlier, if you missed it. We had some technical difficulties. Rich put his technical skills to the test and got the scoreboard fixed up. Saved the day for everybody here at Hot Springs High. 
So that one sails out of play. No score here between the Nighthawks and the Colts. Here's Paulo Denzaco for NPC. Clears that one back to the back line. Evan Stafford, one of 17 sophomores being recognized tonight. Stafford, the all-time leader in saves for National Park College. Colts cough up the rock there, trying to avoid the offsides call. Saad El Waziki picks it up for NPC. Top lane, Tim Heck feeds it in down low to Felix Rocca on a sprint. Rocca turns towards the middle, looking for Denzaco. Couldn't quite get there. It's knocked away out of play. What a dynamic between Felix Rocca and Paulo Denzaco. Rocca, a second-year player for NPC. He was a striker last year for this team, became NPC's all-time leading scorer, and he still holds that rank tonight with 11 career goals for NPC. Teammate Paulo Denzaco is on his heels, though, with 10. A header by Tobias Minkus won't go. Good effort out of the sophomore from Germany. And the Colts will hold tall defensively, keep this game scoreless. 10 minutes off the clock here in the opening half. I want to say hello to Mustafa watching on the broadcast, cheering on Saad El Waziki. So glad to have you with us today. Deep kick by the Colt goalkeeper. Anybody's ball. Tracked by Tim Heck up high. Muganga and Omar Uribari pick it up for the Nighthawks. Here's Tobias Minkus threading it up the middle. Patrick Chan on the move to Raqqa in the middle. And the Nighthawks have no qualms about playing keep away, taking their time, setting up drives. We've seen this kind of defense, or really this kind of offensive attack, I should say, really all season long. A team that is absolutely very aggressive out of the gate but sometimes they like to make sure that they control the tempo, time of possession, and you know, really uh, the, the triangle effect, if you will, on this back line with Minkus and Stafford, and usually you'll see a, a Kevin Puente there or a Saad El Waziki in this instance, and uh, you know, setting up that triangle, almost lulling the defense to sleep, if you will, and then that's whenever they poke it across the middle and set up a strike with one of its strikers. Here's Felix Rocca. Has his hands full, and just like we talked about, resetting back to that back line. El Waziki picks it up. One on one, we've got a foul. This is gonna be Nighthawk ball. Former Nighthawk Matthew Farias is on the broadcast tonight. Hello, Matthew. Hope all is well with you. Love to see the former Nighthawks coming out in support of their teammates. Wish you were here. NPC looking to make history again. Looking for its second consecutive Region 2 title. Top of the field, here come the Nighthawks. On the move, and it's in for the score! Irvin Martinez! I don't know how he does what he does, but boy, he makes it look good. The Nighthawks strike first on a laser from Martinez. And he rushes down to his coach, Diego Figueroa, and then wraps him in a bear hug. Emotions high here on sophomore day. That's the effect that these players have on each other. It's a brotherhood here at NPC. We're talking about former players coming back on the broadcast to cheer on their team. The chemistry between this sophomore class and this freshman class has really been the difference in what makes this team special this season. You know, going back to the sophomore day ceremony, Evan Stafford, the Nighthawk goalkeeper, came out, and you know the players, uh, some had uh, their teammates as escorts tonight, and Evan chose Irvin Martinez as his escort tonight because he said his favorite Nighthawk memory was. Not some of these big wins, taking down ranked opponents or maybe even the car trips. He said, honestly, it was the Irvin Martinez goal against Crowder College, my favorite Nighthawk memory in two years. It was phenomenal, and it's easy to see why. So back in action, the Colts down 1-0. And looking to respond here, they're in Nighthawk territory. 
But Nighthawks playing keep away here. Uribari comes up with the loose ball. That one's poked away out of play. Last touch by Uribari and NPC. So the Colts are hungry to get on the board with 31 minutes to play here in the first. Irvin Martinez giving the Nighthawks the lead. On the throw in for Cossetan. Will be number 10, Isaiah Ars. Throws the ball in. Off the hands of Evan Stafford, denied and kicked away into the open field. It's Paulo Denzaco who picks it up. Denzaco finds Irvin Martinez with the hot foot down the line. And the keeper, Quellar, comes out deep into the field of play. Ali Muganga and Noah Searle looking for an opportunity to punish here. Nothing going. The Colts will get some breathing room down on the near side of the field. Daniel Garcia. Garcia on the run, kicks it up to the center of the field, a strike, and Evan Stafford is there to reel it in. We've got a player down for National Park College off screen. And they're calling for the athletic trainer. We're going to take a break, an injury timeout. Back in a moment, Nighthawk soccer continues on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. My name is Kazaya, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Back in action here at Hot Springs World Class High School coming out of the injury timeout. The athletic trainer Tiffany down with Irvin Martinez of NPC. Tending to him, we'll get you an update on Irvin as soon as possible, but Irvin still uh, was helped off the field with the help of a University of Arkansas Cossetot Colt. Loved the leadership and the camaraderie there between opponents and rivals. But Martinez still down on the field being worked on by Tiffany. Back in action here, the Colts trail 1-0, 15 minutes off the clock here in the first half. University of Arkansas Cossetant will reset the ball all the way back home before trying to advance and see if they can get one in on Evan Stafford. The keeper, Quellar, feeds it back to Axel Vera for UAC. Down the line, threading the needle. Colts moving the ball well here in the first half. Picked up by number 13, Mark Enriquez. Enriquez, one on two, can't hang on to it. Now Patrick Chan has it coming the other way. Chan down the line, and that turns on the Jets for Denzaco. Believe we're going to have an offsides call against NPC. Here comes the kick. We're back into the field of play, and that's a deep booming kick off the head of Saad El Waziki. Waziki with a second header as Muganga tries to keep it in play. He does. 
Ball near midfield. Colts have it. And they will slowly reset back with Paulo Denzaco in their face. Andre Oriondo comes up with a big steal. Here come the Nighthawks on the run, feeding it to Noah Searle in wide open spaces, turns, fires, and just barely reeled in by the fingertips of Queller, the keeper. That was about as close of a near miss close call as you can get on that shot by Noah Searle. NPC Athletic Director Rich Thompson has went out to go get a status update on Irvin Martinez, who left the game due to injury moments ago. Presently, Irvin is being carried behind the Cossetant goal by a couple of his teammates. And we hope to see number eight back on the field as soon as possible. Play resuming with 27 minutes to go. Here's Searle again for the Nighthawks to Denzaco. Paulo to Searle looking for help and that ball has sailed sky high into the bench for the Cossetant Colts. Patrick Chan has the rock for NPC. Ready for the throw in. Here it is. He finds freshman Paulo Denzaco. Resetting to the back, Saad El Waziki. Sending it up high. The Nighthawks looking to move with Andre Uriondo. There is a collision. Flags fly. National Park will have it. NPC trading places in the formation. It appears to be Felix Rocca who will be kicking away. What a year it's been for Rocca. Free kick on its way. Rocca has the distance off the header of a Colt. Sailing down the line, that ball is still in play. Denzaco gives chase, can't reel it in. Now coming the other way, NPC trying to get the ball back. It's out of play. Going back to Felix Rocca, the second year player from Leipzig, Germany. He came in last year and led the way, becoming NPC's all-time leader in goals with nine in a season. That was also the single season record for NPC, which was broken this year by Paulo Denzaco. But this year, Felix switched to midfielder from striker. And while it's not allowed him as many opportunities to get goals, he only has two at this point this season, uh, it has given him the opportunity to really help feed his teammates and grow his teammates because despite only having two goals this season, where Felix really shines, it's five assists this season. So really helping spread the wealth offensively for this team. Uh, that's true leadership for National Park College, and we're glad Felix walked in the doors here at NPC. We talked to Felix Rocca not too long ago as one of our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured players. He said it's not about the goals. The records are nice. It's fine, but I'm out here to win a national championship with my boys. <laughs> And that's a sentiment we can all agree on here at National Park College. It's been an exciting year for NPC. Most wins in program history, certainly the biggest winning streak in program history. They had seven in a row at one point this season, undefeated after 13 matches. They stumbled in match number 14, but in match 15 tonight, they lead 1-0. 23-45 to play in the first half. Jack Avery giving chase defensively for the home team. Chan lets it roll out of play, and Nighthawks will have it back. And I believe the Nighthawks are going to start readying some substitutions here. Felix Rocca takes a break, and 
Coming in for the home team, number 31, Grayson Owens. Be Nighthawk ball after the whistle here. Chan gets it in to Minkus. El Waziki takes it on the north side. Here come the Nighthawks. Kosatot giving space on defense in a zone. NPC has the lead and says we'll take our time. Minkus through the middle into Colt territory. Finds Paulo Denzaco, no, a little bit too hard on the pass. Colts will take over. Can't say enough about this crowd here on sophomore night. Probably the biggest crowd we've seen in Nighthawk soccer history. The women celebrating after claiming their first Region 2 championship in program history. They're 2-0 all time in Region 2 play. A lot of excitement. NPC faculty and staff making their way out to the stadium tonight. Cheering on their soccer teams. Evan Stafford said it best this week when he said, this season's felt like a dream. We've heard from a number of Nighthawk men, sophomores this season, but we've yet to hear from the sophomore goalkeeper. Well, I'm proud to announce that changes tonight. Evan Stafford is your Washita Children, Youth and Family Services featured player of tonight's game. And we'll talk to the keeper at halftime tonight. We'll learn his Nighthawk story. What brought him all the way in from Florida to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and what it's meant to be a two-year leader for this program. Corner kick coming in PC. It's Patrick Chan. Chan's kick is on its way. Has distance. The header sends it the other way. Dan David trying to save it, keep it in play, but he can't. And a souvenir for Aaron Brewer, our Nighthawk athletics photographer. Aaron has captured the greatest moments in Nighthawk athletics history for years. And I can't wait to see the photos from tonight's match when they go up tomorrow on our Nighthawk athletics social media channels. And if you're not liking them yet, you're missing out. Facebook, Instagram, and X search Nighthawk athletics. And while you're at it, go ahead and like, subscribe, and get notified right here on the Nighthawk Network. And we'll let you know every single time we go live this season with National Park College Nighthawk Athletics. I know the soccer season's coming to a close soon. Nighthawk basketball is right around the corner, and this year's men and women's teams are going to be phenomenal. Baseball and softball have had great fall campaigns in exhibition season. They're going to be back and better than ever this spring. And of course, those featured Nighthawk player interviews, which the fan base loves so much. Hawk Talk with myself and Athletic Director Rich Thompson, our Sports Center esque weekly update on all things National Park Nighthawk Athletics. It's all here on the Nighthawk Network. Just under 20 minutes to go in the first half. NPC leading 1 0 on an Irvin Martinez goal. Colts. Staying feisty in this one as this ball goes back to the back line. El Waziki dodges a bullet there as he heads out towards the middle of the field. Finds Tim Heck up high. El Waziki now resetting back to Tobias Minkus. Evan Stafford's personal bodyguard, if you will. Avery and Minkus trade the rock. 19 minutes to play here in the first half. Here's Tim Heck, makes a man miss, and now he's going to send off to the races. Looking for Dan David on the inside. Queller comes in deep into the field of play to reel it in and give it back to the Colts. We've seen that a couple times tonight. The keeper for Cossetot is not afraid to get his hands dirty and get out there and become part of the action. NPC hoping to capitalize on that, perhaps. Later on in the match, we'll see. Booming clear downfield, looking for a teammate, picked him up. 
Ball's at midfield for Cossetant. Jack Avery gives chase for the home team. Now he picks it up. Perfect place for Denzaco, but he can't make a move on it in fear of the offsides flag. Very disciplined team, this Nighthawk squad. Saad El Waziki turns the ball around in traffic. Omar Uribari in the middle. Here's Tobias Minkus. To Grayson Owens. Owens up high to Heck. Heck has a running lane on the top side, feeds Paulo Denzaco, and there's an offsides flag. Unfortunate go for NPC in this one. Coach Diego Figueroa less than happy down on the sidelines. While we have a moment, I'd like to say hello to Gertrude Heck, watching on the broadcast from Frankfurt, Germany, cheering on Tim and the Nighthawks. So glad to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in today. Another whistle down on the field. 17.07 to go. The Colts have the possession here. Deep kick into Nighthawk territory. And that one will sail right out of bounds, reeled in by Mark Enriquez, but it's out of play. In for the Nighthawks, number four, the super sophomore, Kevin Puente. Puente's family is here in the stadium cheering him on tonight. And when it came to sophomore day entourages, Kevin Puente absolutely had the biggest one of the night. You love to see it. A defender that's literally helped NPC win games, you know, preserve that, that undefeated streak for 13 matches this season. Takes a lot of pride in this program and bringing success along with his teammates on the battlefield. Up high, Henry Gomez gets locked up with a Cossetant defender, and it's out of play. 16 minutes to go here in half number one. Still a close one so far. The defense from the Colts has been strong in this one. Now the Nighthawks with an opportunity downfield. Jack Avery picks up a pass into Colt territory and nowhere to go as it gets away from Avery, pass intended for Paulo Denzaco. We've got a player down on the field for UAC. We're gonna take an injury timeout as the training staff is summoned back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. 
Back here at Hot Springs World Class High School, I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Want to say hello to Ismael Garcia watching on the broadcast. And those former Nighthawk men's soccer players continue to come out tonight. It's a great night to do so. Hope you're doing well, Ismael. Glad to see you. Wish you were here with the boys. But maybe we'll catch you in the postseason, perhaps. NPC in the driver's seat. A win tonight would secure the Region 2 championship for National Park College for the second straight season. And there's a liner into the goal. A deep strike for National Park College. High fives, hugs, and handshakes all around. What a shot for NPC 2-0. Here comes Daniel David to get a lot of love from the sidelines here at home. Another super sophomore that has done amazing things for this Nighthawk squad over the past two years. It costs a top, wastes no time putting this ball back in place and hey, we got a game here. Goals by Martinez and David for NPC. Off the head of Kevin Puente. Nighthawks look to keep their foot on the gas here. In games past, there have been some nail biters. I'm thinking about the home match against North Ark last Wednesday. Certainly the 2-1 defeat to Crowder College. Coach Diego Figueroa wanted to make sure his men came out and left without a doubt. It's always interesting to see how a team will respond following a loss, certainly when it's your first one of the season. So far, so good for the Nighthawk men. In the background, you hear the Hot Springs World Class High School Marching Band. A fitting soundtrack for today's battle. There is a shot by Denzaco. Won't go. This ball's still in play. Puente. David feeds it to the middle, looking for a little bit of help. Can't get it. And that ball sails away. The threat exterminated, at least for now, for University of Arkansas Cossetant. El Waziki with a statement kick back to the kicker or to the goalkeeper. Quillar. David threads the needle. Picked up to Denzaco. David, no look pass, looking for Chan, and no opportunity for Paulo Denzaco to strike. We've talked about history. We've talked about championships in postseason. Paulo Denzaco chases history tonight as well. Already your single season leader in goals for National Park College. He's one score away of tying Felix Rocca for all time with 11 goals and two goals away from becoming NPC's all time scoring leader. Not bad for just your first season. Jack Avery is down on the turf for NPC. And he's gonna come off the field to play and be looked at by the training staff, I believe, here. There have been a lot of calls to the trainers tonight. Both sides of the ball. 12 minutes to play in the first half. Nighthawks lead it 2-0. Martinez and David with goals. Oriando looking to intercept at midfield for the Nighthawks. Ribari gives chase. Threading the needle. Henry Gomez trying to take it away for the home team. On the top line, that ball is out of bounds. National Park will have it right back. Henry, 
Zachariah Abdi down low finds Kevin Puente. There's a collision. Puente gets up, stays with the ball. Gets the ball over. Looking for Denzaco. Can't find him. And an unfortunate turnover for NPC on some great footwork by Kevin Puente. Nighthawks have it. Tobias Minkus, a rare appearance <laughs> deep inside Colt territory. Of course, if you start snoozing on Minkus, he'll be right there at the goal line with a header to put it in. Nighthawks taking their time as the stadium lights come on here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Here's a laser in for Quellar, and it's reeled in. Rolled into the field of play. Here comes University of Arkansas Cossetan. Colts trying to control the tempo here. Nighthawks looking for a steal. There's a takeaway by Uriondo. The ball finds Paulo Denzaco. Back to Uriondo with some fancy footwork. Uriondo turns, fires off the hands of the keeper, denied. Quellar with another save. Came into today's game with an 833 save percentage. as we approach the nine minute mark remaining in the first half. Gomez up high to Patrick Chan. Uri Bari to Owens. Gomez up high, threading the needle. Grayson Owens pokes one up, looking for help, can't get it. Nighthawks stay with the ball. Omar Uribari just above the crossbar. No good. Checking in for the National Park Nighthawks, number 13, Kevin Quevedo. Also joining the battle is number nine, Marius Christensen. Dan David and Omar Uribari take a break. I believe we're, we're back ready to go here, having to recruit some soccer balls to keep the match going here. We've talked about the track facility here at Hot Springs World Class High School, it's very easy for those, those balls to get away. Sometimes it takes 30 to 60 seconds to, to go retrieve them depending on where they sail. Colts with the rock into Nighthawk territory, denied on a great stop by Abdi. Minkus is there to send it the other way. Nighthawks on the move. Top of the field has Patrick Chan. And he threads the needle inside looking for Kevin Puente. Here's an opportunity, one on one, Puente can't get it done. Another near miss for the Nighthawks here. Six fifty-five to play here in the first half. Colts on the move. And this is going to be coming the other way. Last touched by University of Arkansas, Cossetot. Nighthawks have it. As Diego Figueroa readies another substitution for the home team, we'll see Christian Villatoro coming in shortly for the first time tonight. Kevin Puente, given space down low, finds Abdi in the lower channel. Abdi pokes one up, looking for a man in the middle. It's Grayson Owens. No connection there. We're headed the other way. 
all the way back. And there's Evan Stafford. It's been a quiet night for Stafford and that's usually the MO for the Nighthawks here. He'll talk more about that. We actually talk about that conversation specifically. Coming up in our Washita Children, Youth and Family Services featured player interview at halftime. Colts on the move here, trying to brew up something special here. As that one's floated in down low. Shot is up and away out of play. Isaiah's ours cannot get the ball in. Five fifteen to play. The Hot Springs High Band drum line continues. Evan Stafford with the short kickoff to Tobias Minkus. Nighthawks have time on their side, leading 2-0. Puente with a great pass to Quevedo. Trying to set up Zach Abdi. On the run is Villatoro, right in the face of the keeper. That ball is still in play. Quevedo looking to get back, pokes it away from an attacker. And back and forth we go. Minkus with the pickup. Feeds it back to his keeper, Evan Stafford. Christensen in the middle. Up high to Gomez. Grayson Owens, one-on-one, -on -one, loses his footing. Kicked back to the keeper, Quillar. Smooth moves by University of Arkansas, Cossetant. Trying to hold on to the ball as long as possible. Here comes Quevedo into the middle. Zach Abdi, Abdi turns, fires, just a little bit right, no good. I want to say hello to Anton Mueller on the broadcast saying let's go NPC. Glad to have you, Anton. Thanks for watching today. Short kickoff finds the Colts, and that ball sails downfield. NPC has it right back. Puente to throw it in for the Nighthawks. Finds Edwin Arredondo. A number of new faces in. Coach Diego Figueroa flexing the depth of this roster. Ali Muganga up high. Muganga needing help. Gets some help from Arredondo. Turns and fires, no good. A Colts player is down on the left side of the field, but play continues. Picked up into Nighthawk territory. On the move, down low, and Tobias Minkus with a sliding stop out of play. When I said he was Evan Stafford's bodyguard, I meant it. But now the Nighthawks will have to set up the wall to try to keep the Colts off the scoreboard late in the first half, two minutes to go. It'll be a corner kick for UAC. Play is currently paused off camera. The official talking things over with the head coach of the Colts. Now I believe play will resume.
Here comes the corner kick from the Colts. Looking to cut into this 2-0 deficit. Men in motion getting set. Kick is up and on its way. Knocked away by the Nighthawks. Giving chase. Kevin Quevedo turns on the Jets. He finds Ali Muganga. It is a full-on foot race. Nighthawks fire Muganga. No good. And the Colts will have it here. Coming up on the final minute of the first half. A short kickoff and here come the Colts. Muganga and Villatoro closing in on the gap. Puente trying to get the ball back for NPC here. 45 seconds to go. Nighthawks getting into the face of the Colts here. Trying to force a bad decision. Villatoro follows the keeper all the way to the line with great defense. Nighthawks threatening. Heading to the corner, Zach Abdi. No, he'll throw it in. Muganga can't control it. Might be a really good photo from Aaron Brewer, though. Final seconds of the first half here. Kostatop may not have enough time here to get the kickoff. We'll see. Into the field to play, and that is the end of the first half here from Hot Springs World Class High School. Your National Park Nighthawks are 45 soccer minutes away from claiming its second Region 2 championship in program history. We'll take a break. Coming up next, we'll talk to our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured player of the game, Mr. Evan Stafford. Second half is also coming your way next here on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. For me, wellness kind of means like being active, kind of get like healthy and stuff, interacting with everybody and not just like staying to yourself in like one building. So these are the two things I learned today. Uh, there's eight dimensions of wellness and that vaping could put metal in your lungs. I would say the social health aspect because within the vaping world, we kind of see a lot of social peer pressure. Wellness is multifaceted for me. Um, but the Entertainment Foundation focuses on the social emotional. My name is Zach Eiling. I'm a nurse practitioner with Healthy Connections. Hi, my name is Sierra Whitby and I work for the Arkansas Tobacco Education Initiative and the American Lung Association as a health promotion specialist. Audrey Finland, president and founder of the Entertainment Foundation. My name is Stacia Anglin. I'm with SOZA Recovery Center. My name is Tori Lemons and I work for OCYFS and I'm the case manager down there. I've been there for four years. With this being Region 8's first annual community wellness event, it's amazing to see the community partners that have shown up from law enforcement to healthcare to videography to therapy to uh, a wonderful musician. It's the reason the importance of that matters is that all the youth that have shown up today get to see adults in action who actually care. Um, they get to see the lived experience of people that are in the community just like them who have been through traumas and are trying to give back to their community but are also here to support. Here in Hot Springs Village and Region 8 as a whole, the preventionists have put together something that the youth can look forward to annually. 
It gives them something to aspire, something to be bigger than themselves. Um, but also, more importantly, it gives them hope. It gives them a reason to keep going and to understand that there are people in the community who do care and are trying to make their world a better place. Prevention to me means staying away from what you gotta stay away from. Look, if you wanna go places in life, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol, stay away from those vices, you know, just that it's gonna get you off your path. You know, and no one's perfect and everyone makes mistakes, but as long as you actively stay conscious of what you're trying to attain, those goals, you'll go far in life. I think that prevention can mean uh, protecting your family and like, like getting them away from the life that they, they can go down and you can like protect them and get them on the right track. Prevention means um, preventing a problem before it becomes an issue. Prevention would happen first so they wouldn't even have to come to treatment. If something happens, they can always come to us and we like to educate the community on ways that they can prevent drug and alcohol problems before they even have to come to treatment. So what prevention means to me is uh, trying to get everybody away from drugs, trying to keep people away from drugs as much as we can. Prevention to me means keeping my community safe and making sure everyone is staying healthy and out of anything bad. Preventing like drug abuse, alcohol abuse, like staying away from all those and like helping other people stay away from those, that would, that would be great. Prevention to me is like keeping something from happening. Growing up, my mother was a really heavy smoker and I remember always begging her to quit. She never did. She's had a lot of health complications come from that, even having heart surgeries. And so I'm really wanting to focus in on the new people in the world and just like make sure that they know that tobacco use is bad. Two ways I stay away from alcohol and drugs, I play basketball and also tell the kids about how it's bad for you. I would have to say my son. Just knowing that he's growing and he needs me always keeps me straightforward. Like anytime I even think about doing something I shouldn't do, I always think about my son and that just keeps me on a positive note.
National Park College Nighthawk Men's Soccer is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured player of the week, it's the goalkeeper, Evan Stafford. Evan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Florida, and uh, like most of the guys on the team, I've been playing soccer since I was really little, probably only like seven or eight years old. So it's one of the things that I know the best in life, honestly. Of course, you came to National Park College last year as a freshman for this team, all the way from Florida. What was it that brought you to NPC to continue your soccer journey? Um, well, after high school, I didn't play much for my high school team. I always played club, uh, but I really wanted to continue, you know, go to the next level, whatever that looked like in college. And uh, I knew Kevin through another coach that trained me a lot when I was younger and who I was uh, staying in shape with, like uh, right out of uh, high school. So I met Kevin, uh, came and saw the school one time over spring break, which was more than a lot of the guys on the team, especially the guys from uh, over across the water. Um, but uh, yeah, I just decided this place was perfect and uh, came immediately. And you guys had the opportunity to really kind of help shape the foundation of this program. You came into a team that the previous year didn't win a single match. You guys come in last year and it really makes some history here for this college, uh, winning the region, the first Region 2 championship for any of our sports. You go on to the district level, and uh, we've shared that story so much this season because we love the growth that we've seen out of this team. Last year's team was good, mm -hmm. and you guys came back this year and really done something special up to this point. But before we talk about what you've accomplished this year, what inspired you to make that decision to return to this team this year? Um, well, last year's team, like you said, was really good. Uh, a lot of the guys that were already here from that first year, even though I know they didn't have the season that they wanted, I mean, we wouldn't have had the season without them. Uh, they're not here anymore, but they definitely influenced the culture, uh, made it what it is today. So Evan, let's talk about this year. If last year was good, this year, I don't know if there's words to describe the way that this team has come out and performed very first match of the season. You take on Pearl River, Coach Diego's former team, a ranked opponent. You take them down, and it's just been a snowball downhill ever since. What has it been like to be a part of that journey and to ride this wave and the undefeated streak and, and the big wins, the come-from-behind wins, all the success this team has had this year? Hmm. Uh, it's definitely been like a, a dream a little bit. Uh, you don't really expect it at all. I mean, if you were going to describe the season, aside from our last game, you would have said perfect. But, uh, I mean, it's still hard to imagine. It's been a great season so far. And uh, if we stay on the same track, I mean, could have one of the best seasons I've ever played. And, of course, Evan, last week this team suffered its first loss of the season, a heartbreaker on the road at Crowder College in Missouri. What is the mindset of this team now that the undefeated streak is over? Um, is there maybe some pressure relieved because you finally have that loss? Um, I think it puts us under a little bit more pressure, honestly, because uh, the whole season is really not going to mean anything if we give it all up now. Uh, so even when we have tied a few games and they felt like losses after losing one, for sure, uh, I feel like it all kind of goes away if we don't really focus up now and... Uh, recommit to playing our best, you know, and put our best foot forward. Of course, Sunday, you're back at home, University of Arkansas, Casa Tot. You guys have an opportunity to be the first team in National Park College history to win back-to-back -back Region 2 championships. Big game on Sunday, obviously, with a win or a draw. What do you think the preparations are in order to go out there and get them one more time? Well, coming off of a loss, um, we know that we need to do better. Uh, we've played this team before, so we know what to expect. So, in a sense, we know what to, we need to expect from ourselves, how we need to show up, how we need to play. But um, anything can happen, right? So if we're not ready for that, uh, we could go out and have a really, really tough game. Um, but, you know, as long as we uh, are confident in ourselves and are in our ability to play, I'm sure we'll be fine. So as a goalkeeper, kind of take us behind the scenes of, of what that looks like in terms of how you practice and how you prepare. You're the last line of defense between you and the net. And, and what does that look like from your perspective, uh, given all the success that this team has had this season? Um, well, a successful team kind of just means I'm, I'm standing back there by myself for most of, most of the games. Um, probably the closest with the back line, but if they're doing their jobs, I mean, I only pass the ball with them like twice and uh, not really 
connecting with the striker on the one-two or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just kind of in the back by myself most games, just trying to stay focused in case anything does happen. Just be ready. So many great memories this season made already. Long road trips and, of course, all of you over in Dogwood Hall, uh, really bonding and growing together as a family. What's maybe a big moment or a favorite memory that stood out to you in your time with National Park College? Um, I got to say Irving's goal, honestly, in that one game, uh, taking it off the one touch like that, putting it in the top corner, uh, seeing the whole team come together to celebrate after that, because that game, uh, uh, I think we really showed like what we're capable of, like when we play together really well. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's probably one of my favorite moments from this season was that game and that goal. It feels like a dream, just like you said, the history that goes into this program and you guys laying the foundation and, and etching yourselves in the Nighthawk lore for years to come. We're glad you walked in the doors here at NPC, and we wish you the best of luck down the road the rest of the way this season. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, just my family in Florida. Hi, Mom. That's all. Evan Stafford of Nighthawk Men's Soccer. You can follow the team online on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Special thank you to Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, the sponsor of the Featured Player of the Week. For Evan Stafford, I'm Mark Oliver. This is Nighthawk Men's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network. There's a I place for you sick. at National and my Park College. Care provider makes NPC sure understands that, that one size doesn't I fit all. If I have any and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Any other Flexible now class have options help I need in person and online. online. Help you set there the schedule are many you need to have at about a half the cost of the average but Arkansas University. But if you're not getting regular checkups, National you're not getting Park a complete picture of your overall health. National College experience. Start a primary Close care relationship for long-term health benefits. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. There's a place for you at National Park Hi, College. My name is Kazai. NPC and understands is why that I one size doesn't fit all, and, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. Back here at Hot Springs World Class High School, I'm Mark Oliver with NPC 20 National Park College. As we get set to start the second half of action, the sun has set, the stadium lights are on, and National Park College is 45 minutes away from achieving soccer history for the second consecutive season here at National Park College. And it starts with a shot by Felix Rocca that goes a little bit left of the goal and off into the wilderness. But NPC right out of the gate. I mean, it doesn't get any more aggressive than that with the start. And now University of Arkansas Cossetant will take its turn. Goals by Irvin Martinez and Daniel David for the Nighthawks in the first frame. And now the Nighthawks start inside the territory of the Colts. Felix Rocca had another shot blocked here. Here's Henry Gomez as he tries to find a man down low, turning, firing as Rocca and won't go. Noah Searle breaks the wall of the Colts and Searle will find a goal on sophomore day. I think that goal right there is the absolute definition of the National Park Nighthawk men this season. Always finding a way, never giving up when the going gets tough. 3-0 NPC. Less than a minute off the clock in the second half in the Nighthawks strike here. Noah Searle has his fourth goal of the season and continues Really a breakout year for that young man from across the ocean. I know his dad is watching on the broadcast and must be proud. I see Thomas out there cheering on Noah as well. Glad to have you. NPC looking to add another one right here as Gomez pops one up. Looking for a little bit of help and can't quite get it to go. 
Christensen gets ahead on it. Dan David and Paulo Denzaco are out there trying to get the ball back. Heavy pursuit. Now the Colts will bring it down south. Back through the legs, back to the keeper, Quillar. Big clear downfield. Nighthawks on the header, move it right back into scoring position. Felix Rocca on the move, up to the top of the field. Lining one out, Rocca through the middle, fires, and it's into the midst of the keeper. There's a deep kick. The Nighthawks look to turn it around and they do. It's Henry Gomez. Gomez down the line to Ali Muganga. Muganga looking for Denzako on the line. It just crosses out of bounds. Offsides is the flag, excuse me. 42-13 to go. Noah Searle lit up the scoreboard in the first 57 seconds of the second half. Colts resetting back all the way. And now launching to the middle of the field. Back and forth we go. On the attack of the Nighthawks, Paulo Denzaco to Dan David. Blocked by a Colt. Gomez is there, another big block. Tobias Minkus in the middle. Denzaco turns. Firing, striking, kicked away. Bicycle kick into the hands of the keeper and thrown away to try to create some space and fan out this Nighthawk attack. It's a foot race. Pedro Alvarez for Casatot. As that one is taken away and quickly sprinting into Colt territory are the Nighthawks. We've got a whistle. This is gonna be against National Park College. Colt player slow to get up. Looks like he's up on his feet. Being checked on by the official. In at goalkeeper for National Park College here in the second half, Luke Berry. Sophomore from England checks in. Berry really stepped up for the Nighthawks this season. When Evan Stafford was out due to injury for a handful of games, Barry was able to come in and help keep that undefeated streak alive for NPC. Winning three games and securing one draw, Muganga fires just off the mark, left, no good. But Barry boasting a very good save percentage at 692. He had nine saves coming into tonight's match and well, it goes back to that interview with Evan Stafford, says my perfect work day is a day where I don't work at all. How many people can agree with that sentiment, right? Wise words for the young man from Florida. I don't know, we have a lot of fun here at National Park College. We're busy, but we're fun people. What better job than getting to share the stories of these young men and women Daniel David threads that one down the line. Gomez resets Minkus. Here comes NPC. Looking for a channel. They'll go up high with it. Down the line. That one stays in play. Into the middle. And a sliding tackle away by the Colts. That pass intended for Felix Rocca who's really turned up the momentum here in the second half. You can tell he's hungry to light up the scoreboard. Nighthawks have it in the corner. Felix Rocco with the corner kick. On its way, has the distance, the header from Minkus, yes! 
Minkus puts the Nighthawks back on the board. 4-0 National Park College. The crowd is cheering Toby. Everyone has a favorite Tobias Minkus moment. That's got to be one of the best. Minkus with the header. I'll be honest, I don't remember the last time he scored a goal that did not bounce off of his head. He's quite proficient at these things. And just a another young man that is just extremely fun to watch for this ball club. The Colts are feeling the pressure here. The Nighthawks continue to attack. Two goals in the first half, now two goals in the second. There's still a lot of game to be played in this one. About 37 and a half minutes to go. NPC and cruise control at 4-0. Down the line, that one's popped up. Colts really struggling just to get out of their own end of the field right now. Ali Muganga giving fits. Denzako applying pressure. Marius Christensen fighting to get the ball back for NPC. They'll turn it around, take it to the high side of the field. Resetting to the back line. And Colts will take it back to their keeper, Quillar. Edwin Baltazar. Up top finds Axel Vera. They try to poke it over the Nighthawks into traffic, but Tobias Minkus is there. And now the boys in black will turn it around. Saad El Waziki sprints on a pass on the high lane to Raka. Trying to set something up down low. I believe it's Noah Searle that's tripped up as that ball goes out of play. And the Nighthawks are going to get a little opportunity here, maybe a taste of deja vu, if you will. So Felix Rocca is in the corner. You think Tobias Minkus is ready to head another one in? I do. Kick from Rocca. Looking for Minkus. There's the header. He did it again. Oh, my goodness. No, excuse me, just outside. My apologies, I thought Minkus got it in. Just wide right of the goal. But Raka and Minkus drew that play up perfectly. Just barely missed the target. Christian Villatoro back into the into the game for NPC. Quellar will kick for the Colts. Short kick and look how the Nighthawks swarm to the ball. Andre Oriando gives chase for the home team. Villatoro not afraid to get his hands dirty. Look how he pursues with the keeper. He's going to collide with him. And now he backs off just a little bit. Just the hair. 34-40 to go. Nighthawks, 4-0. I believe this is going to be a handball, perhaps, touching Henry Gomez. So the Colts will have it. And Villatoro is out there. Full sail, full sprint, trying to get a steal any way he can. I'd love to see the effort. And another whistle against NPC here. So that moves the Colts up a little bit further. 34 minutes to go. The 
Colts aren't careful. They may accidentally own goal here. Gomez with the header. Looking to set something up for Oriondo and the boys in black. Henry Gomez advancing. Gomez fires one up and just a miss to the right for Denzaco. He was looking for his 11th of the season. It would tie him for first all time. There have been multiple shot on goal here in the second half for the Nighthawks. Noah Searle and Tobias Minkus, two of the best to ever step foot on the turf here for Nighthawk men's soccer, have broken free. The rest of the boys hoping to get a chance to line up the scoreboard as well. Christensen has room to work, and that is reeled in on the right goal post, saved by Quellar. 32-32 to go. Back in action. Headed back the other way. Nighthawks will have it. Inside, finding Kevin Quevedo. Henry Gomez turns on the Jets as he runs down the low side. Muganga fires to the middle. Quevedo has it stripped away. A whistle blows. The Colts are going to be backing up here. So a penalty kick will come for National Park College. Lined up by Patrick Chan for NPC. Chan looking to get on the board here on sophomore night. The kick, blocked. Chan looking to pick it back up. Strikes towards the middle, looking for help. Fancy footwork taken away. Collision, no whistle. And launched away out of play. Nighthawks will have it back. They'll have a little bit longer field to have to work with here to do something with it. Big crowd still here in full force here at Hot Springs High, and we see you on the broadcast as well. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering for. We'd love to say hi to you tonight. It's been a great day for soccer. Temperature dipping down into the low 70s here. As that one is struck on and into the goal. Another one for the Nighthawks. Make it five on sophomore night. This time it's Villa Toro. Coming into the game, you saw just how aggressive he was fighting for the ball, fighting for an opportunity. He found his moment. The Nighthawks extend their lead. Fifteen minutes off the board here in the second half. Goals from Searle, Minkus, and now Villatoro for the home team. And we're back in action just like that. Colts desperately trying to dissect the Nighthawks and put one in, try to start a rally, a comeback, if you will. It's been all NPC in this one for the most part. Luke Berry finds Tobias Minkus. Down the field we go. Picked up by Muganga. Lost it out of bounds. NPC will keep it. 
A plethora of substitutions will come into the game for National Park College. Here comes Luis Soto. Here comes Carlos Ayala. Edwin Arredondo makes his way out. Here comes Kevin Puente. The sophomores are getting an opportunity. Here on sophomore night, you love to see it. Out to retrieve the loose ball, number 15, Edwin Baltazar for the Cossetant Colts. He'll throw it in. Into traffic. Push off and it's off to the races. Into Nighthawk territory we go. Nighthawk swarmed the ball. As Kevin Quevedo tries to get a steal, Riondo's there as well for NPC. And here comes a foot race. Down the line, it's Paulo Denzaco. Gets tripped up, needs a little bit of help, finding a man. Now it's taken away by the Colts. Up to the top of the field, Cossetot on the run. Ball is popped free. And a, a welcome invitation for Kevin Quevedo to take it the other way. Muganga to the center of the field. Here's Viatoro. To Uriando and Muganga up high. Here's the strike. It's into the goal. My goodness. And the Nighthawks are having a ton of fun with it tonight. It's back to back goals for Christian Viatoro. NPC leads it 6 0. What an opportunity for the freshman coming in off the bench, striking not once, but twice. We've talked about the success of this team and it's 17 sophomores. Maybe what we've not talked about enough is what this team's gonna look like next year. And when you have young men like Denzaco, Muganga, Toro, the freshman faces are gonna take this team places next year. Future very bright for this soccer program here at National Park College. That one launched away. Nighthawks in cruise control. 27 and a half minutes away from celebrating just as the Nighthawk women did earlier this evening. It would certainly be a day I think etched into Nighthawk lore permanently for this program. It's not very often that both teams clinch on the same night. Colts playing keep away and boy do they have their hands full here. Marching upward, ball taken away from Roosfins Josil. He's the leading scorer for the Colts this season. Wearing number nine for Cossetot. Muganga with the pressure via Toro, and now Quevedo pokes one away. Quellar's there. Quevedo right in his face. You see Paulo Denzaco up high. It's a foot race. We've got a whistle blowing. Foul against Denzaco. Clock rolling with about 26 minutes to go. Toro mans the front lines for NPC as the Colts just kind of kick the ball around here. On the header is Uriando on the recipient of the header pass, I should say. Quevedo takes the rock. 
Quevedo turns, fires into the net, or into the, the mitts, excuse me, of the keeper, Quellar, for the Colts. And Toro is still out there, full aggression, following the ball and really trying to maybe get into the head of the goalkeeper. Maybe hard not to at this point. Two consecutive goals. You can tell he's turned the scoreboard off in his head and is playing like it's a 0-0 game. Nighthawks coming the other way down the field at Saad El Waziki. Sprinting into Colts territory. Finding Andre Oriando, the second year Nighthawk. Here's Edwin Arredondo. To the back line. Carlos Ayala. Muganga up the middle to Quevedo. Muganga, one on one, has it stripped away. High fives exchanged between teammates, or excuse me, between opponents and rivals. More substitutions coming in for the Nighthawks. Raka is back. Abdi, Searle, Jack Avery. Paul Mays takes the field for NPC. And the Nighthawks will march the ball out. On the near side, it'll be Ayala to throw it in. He finds Felix Rocca. Rocca turns, fires, no good. Abdi's strike is denied. NPC trying to get the ball back here. Colts on the move. El Waziki. And Kevin Puente are able to recover. To the top of the field we go. Nighthawks biding their time. Here's Arredondo. North to south. Ayala. Taking away. Colts on the move. Skating past a couple of Nighthawks. A collision. Ayala makes contact. That's a foul against the Nighthawks. The Colts will line it up. Nighthawks build the wall, trying to keep the Colts off the scoreboard. Kicking will be Roosfins Josil. His kick is on the way too high out of play. Here's the pass to Paul Mays. Mays into the front of the field. Zachariah Abdi. Abdi, smooth move, turns, fires, and it is denied. Bounced off the hands of the keeper, and I'll be honest, that one almost went in. A lot of these sophomores for this Nighthawk squad were players that were here last year, and we've gotten to see them grow and develop. And Zachariah Abdi was not here last year, but he's certainly come in and made a name for himself and impact for this program. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Here's the corner kick, and that one is popped in to the back of the net. The Nighthawks will strike for goal number seven tonight. And they'll celebrate down on the sidelines. What a goal by NPC. 
I believe it's Kevin Puente who got it done. And his entire family is here in the stands watching that super sophomore as he puts a stamp on this one. Seven nil Nighthawks. 21 24 to go. So we'll reset at the middle of the field. Brief stoppage in play here. Of course, I'm sure emotions are high in this one. You can see it on the faces of the University of Arkansas Cossetant players. Play continues. Nighthawks swarm to the ball defensively. Of course, some newer faces as Jack Avery feeds one to Paul Mays. Mays stays with the dribble, firing out to Abdi. Abdi moves it toward the middle of the field. Puente tries to thread the needle looking for Noah Surly, picks him up. Now it's fed to the top of the field. Resetting all the way to the back line is Omar Uribari. Trying to thread the needle inside, create space. Here's Mays once again. Mays, fancy footwork, turns one up in traffic just a little too high. Coming up on 20 minutes remaining in tonight's battle. The Nighthawks led it 2-0 at the half. And have blown it wide open here in the second half with five goals. Seven goals from six different Nighthawks tonight. And the short kickoff. NPC coming full force, trying to get the ball back. It's met by Kevin Puente at midfield, and that one's fired back all the way to the keeper, Luke Berry. Near side of the field, Carlos Ayala. Ayala met by the Colts, gets the pass off. Paul Mays brought back to the back line as Uribari sends it up high to Puente. Back into Colt territory we go. Down the line, Rocca and the Nighthawks on the move, trying to set up Jack Avery. Couldn't make the connection, and the Nighthawks will get it right back. Back in play. That one sent in to Colt Territory. Searle with the pickup, turns, fires, and there's an easy goal. Offsides is the call, though, and it's going to take it off the board. Eighteen minutes to play in tonight's action. Should the score hold, National Park College still has a regular season game to go. They'll travel to North Arkansas College in Harrison in Region 2 play. But they'll already have the region locked up. 
Following that match, they'll turn their attention to the postseason. But like we mentioned, I believe it'll be Saturday at the earliest before we would know opponent. You can stay tuned to Nighthawk Athletics on social media for updates on men and women's soccer. As the postseason approaches. That one launched in, the Colts are able to move it away. Nighthawks aggressively pursuing the ball. There's a bump out of bounds as Searle was knocked away from the ball. Colts on the throw in, out of play. Cossetant throws it in. Rocca giving chase. That one's popped up high in the air. Taken at midfield by NPC. It's Uribari. That ball is still live. Here comes Rocca and the Nighthawks. Rocca skates past a couple of defenders. Can't get it on the mark. It's out of bounds. Here comes the kick, we're underway. Colts send that one downfield. Kevin Puente's there at center mid. Through the gap, Abdi. Abdi can't hang on. Edwin Arredondo comes up with a big steal for the home team. Here comes NPC. Paul Mays to the center of the field, that's Zach Abdi. Puts one on its way, left of the goal. Quillar grabs it and falls down on top of it. 15 minutes remain. Rolled out, Nighthawks applying the pressure here. And there is an easy goal for NPC. It is Jack Avery taking his turn on sophomore night, 8-0 NPC. For Jack Avery, that's goal number four this year. And he joins Tobias Minkus and Noah Searle in the four goal club this season. All tied for second on the team this year. We have a brief stoppage in play here. I believe we're going to be changing personnel for Cossetant. And we'll be bringing in a new goalkeeper for, for UAC. According to my roster, this is number zero, Jacob Ramirez. And if I remember correctly, I think the Ramirez fan club is watching on the broadcast. Hello to you. So Ramirez is in at keeper. We'll have another stoppage of play here. I think we're ready to go. So most notably here, 
There are eight Cossatot Colts on the field. National Park College looking to take advantage of the opportunity here. As Rocca moves inside, has the ball dished away. There is a tie up down low and it's gonna be Cossatot ball. Nighthawks on the move here down low, and Jack Avery will find his second goal of the night. Scoring again for the National Park Nighthawks. 9-0 NPC. Nine zero. Avery celebrating on sophomore night. That's his fifth goal of the season now. That moves him into the number two spot this season for NPC. And really kind of the de developing story down on the field is there are a number of Cossatot Colts who have taken themselves off of the field. As I mentioned before, it resulted in just eight young men remaining. Those eight still remain for Cossatant, but it's 11 on eight right now. The flag flies. Coming up on about 13 minutes remaining in this action. And we have a yellow card now down on the field. So yellow card's gonna be issued, I guess, against Felix Rocca. And now Grayson Owens will come in and take Rocca's place. The motion's running high late in this one here. Gives Cossetan an opportunity with the ball. Short kickoff, but like we said, it's 11 on eight. NPC with a three-player advantage on the field. Carlos Ayala out to retrieve the loose ball. He'll throw it in just on the bottom of your screen here. He'll find Omar Uribari. Down the field we go, here's Avery. Avery has the ball taken away by the keeper. Of course, now with the situation here, we've had one hat trick this season for National Park College. Paulo Denzaco had it. The way Jack Avery's been playing late in the second half and given the climate on the field, maybe an opportunity for number 19 to get his third goal of the night. That ball sails out of play, Nighthawk ball. 11.30 to go. North to south, picked up by Carlos Ayala. Here's a pass down to the lower side of the field, picked up by Paul Mays. Mays looking for Abdi. Nighthawks moving the ball well. Ayala, offsides. The Nighthawks cough up the rock. 11 minutes remain. Back to the keeper, Ramirez. Booted downfield. Nighthawks have it. Crowd still very much into this one here. 
as NPC looks to cruise to the finish over the final 10 minutes of this one. Fielded up high, Noah Searle. Rejected out of play. Downfield picket by Ayala. Zachariah Abdi in the middle. And Luis Soto comes up with a big pass to Searle. One on two, Searle slips down on the play, cannot get back up and recover. It's gonna go back to UA Cossetan. Christian Viatoro is set to check back in for NPC. Already two goals tonight. Has easily turned into a crowd favorite here at home tonight. Cossetant resetting back to the keeper. Jack Avery eagerly trying to get that ball away. Looking for goal number three tonight. Arredondo goes head to head with the defender. There's a collision. It's a foul against Zach Abdi. Nighthawks back up on defense, 8.45 remaining. Axel Vera kicks it back to the keeper, Jacob Ramirez. Downfield, Uribari is ready and waiting. Abdi, room to run, in the middle, collision, taken away. Nighthawks will recover near midfield. And National Park College has greatly slowed down the tempo of this one here. As that ball is fired near the corner, kicked away by Cossetot, and of course, through the open gate. Seven forty five to play. Nighthawks will throw it in near the top of your screen. Christian Viatoro into the game for the Nighthawks. Zachariah Abdi steps out. Nighthawks fire a laser just over the crossbar. It's out of play. Kicked away by the Colts. Arredondo is there to keep it in this side of the field. Viatora resets back to Uribari. Arredondo down low, Ayala. Mays on the low line. Nighthawks just taking seconds off the clock at this point with 6.41 to go. Top lane finds Noah Searle. Slid inside, no one's there. Deflected, out of bounds, and I believe the Nighthawks will keep it. A couple of Nighthawks swap spots in the formation, Mays and Ayala. Resetting the midfield, they may try another channel here. Uribari through the middle, looking for Avery. Jack Avery can't hang on. Heavy pursuit. 
from Toro and the Nighthawks. Colts in the Nighthawk territory, trying to take it coast to coast. Fired up, Barry is there. Luke Barry comes up with the stop. And it looks like we may have a penalty kick coming up here for that foul in deep Nighthawk territory. Big opportunity for Luke Berry here. Berry looks ready to go. Colts looking to light up the scoreboard here. The kick from Pedro Alvarez in for the goal. Cossetot strikes. Late in the second half, it's nine to one. Alvarez with the PK goal. The deficit now trimmed to eight. Less than five minutes remain. Owens feeds it up high. The Colts with just eight players remaining in tonight's contest. Spreading out on defense. Trying to protect the net as much as possible. Mays feeds it up high. Grayson Owens taken away, coming the other way. Collision. It's going to be against Carlos Ayala. Colts get set to kick it away. Three and a half minutes remain. Here's the kick, and it is out of bounds. Carlos Ayala will throw the ball into play. Here come the Nighthawks. Edwin Arredondo taking advantage of the defensive spacing into Colts territory. Noah Searle on the top line. There's a scrum for the ball. And that one's going to be picked up by the keeper, Ramirez. Jacob Ramirez boots that one toward midfield. On a one hopper, the Nighthawks are gonna hang on. Down low, Carlos Ayala. To midfield, here's Grayson Owens. Noah Searle in the top channel. Nighthawks continuing to work, continuing to push offensively. Fielded by Ayala on the pass. On the inside, looking for Avery, loses the ball. Nighthawks squeeze it back. Luis Soto reeling it in. Ayala looking for a little bit of help, can't find Toro. Mays stays with it, trades. Christian Viatoro on the move. One on two, turns, fires off the foot of Avery. Offsides. Less than 90 seconds remain in this match. Colts have the ball, but boy, do they have their hands full with this Nighthawk defense. 
Up the middle we go. And it's gonna be Nighthawk ball. One minute remaining. Down on the sidelines, the Nighthawks are ready to celebrate. Toro trying to set up a man on the inside. It's Grayson Owens, and it's in for the score. Owens pushes the Nighthawks to double figures, 10 to one. An exclamation point on a big win for National Park College. Coming off of your first loss of the season, I can't think of a better way to bounce back than to grab a little hardware with a big win. Twenty-five seconds remain. And a deep ball launched way back to the back of the complex here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Luke Berry watches it soar. And for the second time in National Park College men's soccer history, your men are Region 2 champions. They defeat Cossetot 10 to 1. Back to back champion, your Nighthawk men are going to the postseason. Congratulations to Coach Diego Figueroa and the Nighthawk men. Locking down Region 2 play for the second consecutive season. They'll head to the postseason. Right back to the stage where they were one year ago. Back in a moment to wrap things up here on sophomore night. The Nighthawks win it. Back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. There's a I place for you sick. at National and my Park primary College. Care provider makes NPC sure I stay understands that, that one size doesn't I fit all. If I have any and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Any other health concerns. Flexible now class have options help I need in person stay on top and of my online. Health Help you set there the are schedule many you reasons need to have about a primary half care the cost provider. of the average But Arkansas if you're not getting University, regular checkups, National you're not Park getting the complete College picture of your overall college health. experience. Start a primary Close care relationship at about for long term health benefits. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. There's a place for you at National Park Hi, College. My name is Kazai. NPC and understands is why that I one size doesn't fit all, and, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. For me, wellness kind of means like being... This is a team that hung a banner Friday night in the kettle at National Park College, and tonight... They'll get plans in motion to order their next one. Your Region 2 champions for 2023-2024. Your National Park College men's soccer team. What a match getting it done in grand fashion. Final score in this one, 10 to 1. The Nighthawks will move on to the postseason. And much like the women, we don't know their opponent. We do know that it will be in Missouri in that first week of November. Stay tuned to Nighthawk Athletics on social media for all the updates on who their opponent will be, where that game will be, what day and what time. What a night. The Nighthawk women become Region 2 champions for the first time in program history, and the men follow it up with their back-to-back -back Region 2 champions. What a year for Nighthawk men and women's soccer, and we're so glad that you joined us tonight for a historic night for National Park College. I'm Mark Oliver with NPC. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's games. We'll be back for the postseason. And we'll have all that data for you online on Facebook, Instagram, 
and X. We leave you victorious. The women winning a big one tonight over the Cossetant Lady Colts and the men defeating Cossetant 10 to 1. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Nighthawk Athletics here on the Nighthawk Network. We'll see you next time. This one's for the Nighthawks. Good night.